Howdy there, my fine feathered friends. Okay, that, that accent sounds weird. Anyway, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Glad y'all can join us. We are about to get started here, just waiting for a few of our other anarchist friends to be able to pop on to the server. And, but I am excited. Um, I have set up a teleport. I'm going to head over there and uh, make sure things are ready. Oh, Gary's got his puppy out here. Very cute. Aw, look at him. He's all the way up to level 73. Doesn't have a name yet, though. Aww. Yeah, well. <laughs> we should call him Gary Jr. since he's... <laughs> oh since he was the one that you gave birth to via the random Preggers pistol. Mm. All right. Fine. Best thing to give birth to is a wolf. I would think so, yeah. All right. I'm, um, if you guys want to pop over on the teleporter, you will see there are a couple of new locations set up. I'm going to pop over to the shady... Oh, I need to change the... Change the name of the teleport. I changed the name of the ranch, but I didn't change the name of the teleport. It is now the Shady Seagull Ranch. But I will head over there and y'all can join as soon as you're ready. Hey there, Zant. Welcome. Glad you could join. Hey, Joels. Welcome, welcome. Oh, looks like you popped into the teleport bubble just in time there, Gary. I was sitting there. <laughs> uh, I went on your spiel. Oh, okay. Well, I've got so many windows open here that I'm trying to pay attention to that, yeah, sometimes I don't see things like that. Let's see. We need a little bit of Western themed music here, so uh, let me find the proper thing. Let's pause this guy. And we can, let's see. This one's a good one. There we go. Hey, Blaster, welcome! All right. I had a lot of fun building a barn this week for our little horse ranch. So, welcome to the Shady Seagull. Oh, which reminds me, I gotta go rename the teleporter before I forget again. Uh, has anybody heard from Purple? He was on a minute ago. I don't know where he went or if his connection is going to cooperate this week. I have not heard. He was trying to download a mod. Ah. No, that was successful. Yeah, his connection was pretty slow, he said. And we thought we were all up to speed, but then bulk storage updated again today it updated yesterday and he got it all updated and then it updated again so yay for that um but yeah, bulk I story. have not successfully updated uh okay but i i mentioned about this mod last week this is the one that uh, we did an arena match to fight for but these are some of the uh wooden crate dedicated storages that this mod offers and it also has some smaller ones. It has storage boxes that will hold a variety of different items as well as these dedicated storages. And it has them in metal as well as in wood. And now the, um, since the update, they've also added a Deddy storage intake. So there's a box that you can put things in and it'll auto sort them. I haven't had a chance to play around with that yet. Um, this is the crafting station for the bulk storage mod. And then there's also just a few other cool storages, like a little storage chest here. Most of these other decorations here are from the uh, uh, Kai's Apothecary mod. The books and the uh, barrels and the like. And yeah, the Deddy storage mod also has these crates that have different things in them. The funny thing is, these ones are just general storage. So no matter what it shows in the crate, it, you can put anything in it. So it can look like it's got thatch in it, but 
yeah, you can use it to store your armor in or whatever. Well, over here at the Shady Seagull, we got a big pen filled with wild equus. And we're gonna, oops, I did not mean to jump down and almost kill myself. Um, anyway, uh, there is gilly up, up in one of the boxes up there. Uh, gilly would be a, a very good thing to use so that you don't spook the equus. And we do have carrots back at base. There might also be simple kibble. These horses all have the same stats and the same level. So it'll be just up to whatever one's colors and pattern you like. We're each going to tame us, break a bronc here, and then we're going to have us a horse race. And the stakes on this horse race are going to be quite high in that everyone gets to choose a mod that they want to add, uh, a either a building mod or a dino mod. And then if they win, they get their choice of mod added to the server for next week. And we for our group challenge this week, oh, that was bright. Uh, for our group challenge this week, there, I found out last week via the, um, a comment that was left that this map has 17 caves on it. And I assume that it's talking about real caves, not just like little hollows that have some crystal in them, like actual caves. It's got 17 caves and 16 artifacts. So uh, we're only, we raised the level cap, but it's only raised to level 40. So we're still not very high level characters yet, but I think we should start getting a handle on where these various caves are. So in order to raise the level cap, we need to find the entrance of at least one of those caves. Uh, but while we're doing this horse race, we're going to get to see a bit of the map. So I think that if we keep our eyes peeled, we just might be able to find something. We shall see. So we're racing and cave hunting. We are racing and cave hunting. We are doing all kinds of stuff today, but we're to start out, we are taming Equus. So if you if you come into the barn over here at the Shady Seagull, there is uh, there's a box that has dyes and then one of these boxes I could have sworn I put gilly. Uh, where did I put the gilly? Ah, there it is. Still loading in. <laughs> All right. It's in this rustic storage box here, the one with the lantern on it. Uh, so I will also get myself some carrots. Uh, is there... Whoa, that was bright. Um, is there any simple kibble back at base? Did you happen to see any, Zanzibar? I didn't see any. Okay. I will wait until you finish spawning in so that I don't just teleport you back with me immediately. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, I'm already going back. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I assume you're coming over to the Shady Seagull because you just yes. you just popped yeah, in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, oh, there it, you go. It takes me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's okie dokie. Let's see. Let's set this to small so I don't grab anybody by accident here. And let's turn on some more of that Western music. Uh, let's see. This one looks good. All right. Oh, hey, purple. Oh, that's a lot. That's a big question, uh, Blaster. Which do I prefer, S plus or SS? Really, I I would rather have either of them as opposed to none. But if I had my druthers, as my grandma used to say, I'd rather have <laughs> S plus, mostly because of the cliff platforms. I love the S plus cliff platforms. And also I like the tool setup better on S plus uh, because with, S, with SS, oops, we are out of spark powder in here. With SS, you hold down N 
and it brings up this radial with all of these different tools. And then there's also a couple that you can craft in your inventory. And that's and that works great, and some people prefer that because you don't have to you don't have to craft most of the tools. You you can just pull them up. But I don't like having all the separate ones. I just as soon have the uh, one multi tool and one omni tool, and between those two, be able to do all those same functions. It's just it just seems simpler to me. And then those two tools typically live on my hotbar. Versus with SS, I have to keep swapping them out here. But still, you know, the the ability to be able to... Oh, no, I don't need the euthanasia gun. Thank you very much. I will drop that, because I cannot be trusted with such dangerous implements. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't like having to keep swapping them out all the time. I'd rather just have the one... Oh, and also I need a water jar. Water jar would be a good thing to have. Oh, we already got him now to stuff. Nice. Well, I got some carrots. I'm sure it's going to be plenty. Oh, and some food would probably be a good idea. Um, I actually put in a hidden tech generator over here because this, this map, this streaming series, is not necessarily about playing through the game in order. Um, it's about all the other fun hijinks and stuff, and so I, oh, we had a campfire here that broke, apparently. So anyway, yes, I, I crafted this and put a bunch of stuff in that normally we wouldn't necessarily have access to early game, but let's face it, nobody wants to watch us running around breaking rocks for four hours, you know? That kind of stuff, um, uh, we all know how that works, we don't need to repeat that. Uh, we don't need to do it that way every single time. So, yeah. So I built this stuff in creative mode so that we can just come over here and have fun. Okay, we are going to have to probably get some, get some meat to cook up, though. Because all of the other meat that was cooked has already spoiled, sadly. There was some in here. see. Probably got enough stuff. Yeah, let's just craft us a, a campfire. <laughs> How many cow pokes will be racing? Well, that all depends on who is able to show up. Purple's trying to load in. Uh, I think uh, who all is in here right now? I can't always see the overlay very well. I th we've got Gary and Grimfang and Sama and Zanzibar and myself. I know Purple was planning on coming and I thought An Anna was going to come as well. Purple is working on loading in. I'm going to send Anna a quick message here. Start it over, dang it. I was just trying to turn it down a bit. <laughs> I was just about to tell you. 
Yeah, well, I figured I was writing a message and nobody wanted to sit there in silence while I composed a message. So. Oh, pretty pony. Aren't they pretty? And if anybody doesn't see a color that they like, I'm happy to spawn in some more. Oh, let me uh, get some gilly. The one I started taming escaped. Aw. I escaped the pit. Yeah. <laughs> Where did it get out? I don't know. But it's on the other side now. Yeah. I was tracking it. <laughs> huh. Well, if you were taming it, you weren't you riding it? Well, until it kicked me. Fucked me and kicked me in the head and knocked me out. Ah, okay. You can't follow it when you're unconscious. Yeah, I would imagine that might be a little bit difficult. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that with a kick in the head. Yep. I, I've never actually successfully taken it. So. Ah, well... It's all about the t it's all about the timing, and yes, when they're all freaked out, you're not going to be able you're not going to get the um, the prompt to feed them. So we should probably just go out for a little bit until they calm down, and we might want to do it one at a time just so that all the rest don't get spooked. Well, just don't spook the horses. Come on. I know, right? Well, they keep getting trapped. It's okay if they're trapped, but if they're freaked out, then you'll have a little bit of difficulty in getting See, on them. He just, I just got knocked down again. <laughs> I guess I they're know, just saying some, you're a knockout, uh huh? Some trick to not get bucked off. Yes, you have to basically sneak up behind them, feed them. Then hit E to get on and immediately feed it again. Like, don't even wait for the prompt. It will give you a prompt, but it's a very, very yeah, quick one. So it's yeah, two feeds in quick succession. Yeah. Here, I'm going to leave some of these carrots inside the barn. And if anyone, for some reason, needs to respawn, there is also a hayloft to this barn, and it's got some beds up here. So, and there's also some storage, and there's a smithy if anything needs to be repaired. Stuff like that, so. Something repaired my head. <laughs> oh. I know, me too. Stimberries. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. You run around it's... waking each other up. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna start cooking some meat here. Keep forgetting what I'm doing. Is there any other meat around here? Does not appear so. Oh, and I should get the other two pieces in Gilly here. Uh, in this smaller storage chest, there are also our hunter hat, which is the closest thing we have to cowboy hat skins. And there's also paint and stuff. So if y'all want to wear a cowboy hat, that's where you get them. And let's see. Oh, geez, my armor's already half broken. Oh, and we're gonna need some more, it looks like. Let me just spawn in some more. It's kind of cool, this uh, Nucleus mod. It doesn't really give you the option of just spawning things in uncolored. They're always painted, it seems like. You can pick what colors you want them painted. I don't usually have time, so I just hit the randomize button so that at least they're all different but it's kind of cool that it pre-paints them for you and uh, of course it, it didn't really need to be said probably but uh, only people who are admins are able to spawn things in 
if you are not an admin, you can still open it up and see like all the items that different mods have available, but you can't, you don't get the, the option to spawn them. So for anyone out there who is a server admin, this is an awesome mod for that. But you have to set it up by putting the Steam IDs of the admins in the INI options for the mod. There we go. There's some more gilly for everybody. There we go. Oh, and I was gonna leave some of these carrots behind as well. Hey, purple typhlosion has joined, I see. It'll probably take a minute before he's actually on, but at least Steam How thinks he's on. Uh-huh. How accurate is the spyglass? Um, I think, I think the spyglass, the Super Spyglass Plus pulls from the same, in, you know, information from the game as the awesome spyglass. So I think they're all about the same accuracy. And I've, I've found awesome spyglass to be pretty darn accurate okay because it says that the horse is going to take on four carrots um that's probably okay that must be assuming that we don't have boosted taming because we have time six taming on here okay and even though the horses are level 200 I can't imagine it taking that long. Hey there, you're a little spooked though. Ooh, that one's a pretty one. Let's see if we can sneak up to you. Yeah, the boys keep spooking the horses. I know. Hey now, can't aim us on it. Is that inaccurate? It is mostly inaccurate. There, so you have to feed it twice in succession basically, and then just stay on and look for the prompt and because of the fact that sometimes if the horse is running through a bush or if it's stuck against a cliff you might not see it actually bucking like it does when it needs a carrot it's better to watch the lower uh, right hand corner of the screen because it will say down there if you need to feed it but yeah it did say just one percent so I think we're going to need to use some simple kibble. Yeah, it takes only three for that. Or yeah. El element. element? What? Yep. You can tame these with... I, I did not know that. Yeah, five. Um, well, I mean, I do have a tech generator in the basement of the barn, so you could probably pull a few pieces of element. I'm going to try and hope that I get it done before I get kicked off here or something. Come on. Oh, oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Dang it. Got myself knocked off and knocked out. Hey, Super Doom, welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's probably pretty accurate, Zant. Um, Zant is saying that Purple's internet is probably glacier powered. I can see that. Oh, yeah. I thought it was moose powered. That's what we thought, but I think Glacier is probably more accurate, especially now that the polar bear ate the moose the other day. That is true. Oh. Uh, the one I was riding escaped the pin and knocked me out again. Oh, you got to feed out here him. in the dark. The coyotes are going to get me. Yep. <laughs> So did we have kibble then, if the carrots are going to take so long? Uh, we have element. 
Um, yeah, you can pull element. Uh, and, oh, whoa. I did not realize that these shimmer equus actually sparkle at night. Isn't it pretty? That's crazy. And they glow in different colors than the colors they are during the day. That is craziness. Okay. Uh, I thought I pulled some element. Apparently not successfully. Uh, let's get here. So it's probably some because you guys are such special magical horses, I guess, that you eat element. There you go. Yeah, 19%. Nice. Okay, now, is, that's the one I started taming. This one? No, the, the one that just ran by me. It still freaked out. Come on, come back here. Come on. Ah. I got yeah, something yeah, yeah. tasty for you. There we go. Oh, and now I'm hungry. Great. Well, I guess I'll just have to be hungry because I gotta focus on this. These crazy magical horses are so cool looking. Well, hello there. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> there you go. Hello again. Hi. Long time no see. Right? Yeah, I figured that this might be slightly less frustrating than trying to find a decent level and tame it out in the wild. Ooh, I just noticed the horse's eyes glow too. As do their butts, because of course that's what I'm mostly looking at. Ooh, ooh somebody tamed one. Like I guess so. Yeah, mine's gonna end up taming up at a lower level because it's only at 79.9% taming effectiveness because I got booted off once. Passenger. Oh, okay. I can't know that. You can do passenger on the horses? That must be a Cabalus Shimmer Equus thing, because normally you can't. The Zanzibar walked up to me and it said, Get on his passengers. Huh. Okay. You get on as well. <laughs> See how many people can get on? I guess I'm gonna eat these carrots then if they aren't good enough for you, horsey. Wow, what should we name this thing? Oh, yeah. It has got crazy markings on it. I'm not sure if that's scribbles, abstract art, tentacles, the face of Cthulhu. <laughs> not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe kind of a marbled effect? What should we name you? I think they're escaping, because I only see two in here now that are not tamed. Huh, okay, well, I am I can spawn more in if necessary. I, are they getting over the fence? Yes. The fence, they shouldn't they're be going, able to get like over. Like they're go, going up the uh, side of a hill kind of thing. Oh, okay. Well... Let me around. run around then and make the fence a little bit taller and then spawn in some more horses. Uh, where's my soul gun? 
All right, and excuse me a second here while I pop into God mode to cheat GCM. And let's get, um, hmm. What should we use? I was making such a pretty fence. Let's do some railings. Lot of being blowy. picky. There's two blue ones. I'm like, I don't want a blue one. <laughs> I put those in thinking that Anna was gonna be here. Ah, okay. This is yeah. the spot, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get some fence foundations so I can extend it in that direction a little bit. Probably up here as well. Come on now. There must be one already there that it j I'm just not seeing. Okay. Yep, there already is one there. What? Grab the wrong thing. Oh, that's a window. Uh, why do my tooltips keep getting turned off? There's the wall. Okay. There we go. What do you think you're doing over there, huh? What? Getting into mischief, I see. This horse is showing off, I guess, how they're all escaping. Hmm. All of them were following him, but he can't get out. I guess. I, I watched another horse go, like, right up on the rock next to him and get out. Yep. I was riding one that did that. Oh, wow. All right, well, let me pop into the textures here and place. Come on. Can you snap there, please? You don't want to snap because we're in the textures. That's too weird for you. There we go. All right, it's not going to be super pretty, but it should hopefully prevent naughty horses from escaping. What do you think you're doing? I don't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Come on now, go back. Go back. Go back! Go back in! What are we gonna do with you, huh? Try to block- Oh, hey, purple! Gonna have to tame you? Can't even get in here. I guess I'll just have to sit here until it moves. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, scribbles or squiggles or splatter as the name for that horse. I like those options. Is someone out here taming? Yeah, I am.
Interesting. I did not see the taming prompt. I had the horse start bucking, but I never saw the taming prompt pop up. Huh. Never. I haven't seen one yet either, so. Do you have the the HUD up? You don't have it hidden or anything, right? Nope, it's all there. I just That's never cool. popped up the press the feed button. Huh. Yeah. I, I was seeing, like, its effectiveness and stuff. Huh. Yeah, I saw that, but never the press this button to tame it like you normally do. Yeah, usually it'll say, like, hit E to feed and then, you know, move closer to ride or whatever. But for the second there's one, after you mount it, there's not time. It just immediately you have to feed it again. All right. Here, let me spawn there's in a few more. There's some reds out here, if anyone's looking for a red. Ooh. Uh, I don't know where Grimfang went, but that I know that he likes red and black. I picked those colors, thinking he might enjoy that. Well, these new ones, I can't uh, vouch for their, them having the same stats as the pre- Well, actually, it looks like it did remember the previous stats. Okay, cool. Start spawning in some random colors, and then let's set some custom ones. Ooh, that's a looks like a good combo. Let's throw some of that in there. Anybody have any requests while I've got the color picker thing up? No, that's the one I'm going to go after. Um, where's the uh, kibble or element app? Just pull it. It's should be able to pull the element. It's in a generator downstairs. So. Yeah. Let's do... Purple, if you need some, I can put some on my horse. Should be enough to tame if you do it right. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out where you're at. Yeah. I just watched you go over the rock wall. Ooh, Periwinkle and Cyan. Hey, Gextrix, just for you, we will put in a Periwinkle and Cyan one or two. Let's do the Dino Deep Blue looks kind of Periwinkle from here at least, and some Cyan. And let's do one maybe with the Midnight Blue as well. And maybe let's swap that up for some Powder Blue. Ooh, pretty. I usually go for 27 and 79, but I already tamed one, so. Well, you can tame more pretty. than one if you want to. But All right, now let me, I'm going to go finish the, finish fixing this fence here. I had some escape while I was testing this, but I assumed it was just because, um, because I left render and came back and I figured they were just, they were just de-rendering or something. But I guess not. Okay, let's just do these then. Simple. That's a nice one, purple. Oh, what the heck's going on? Don't do that to me here. No ugly walls. Fine, I will stick to the railings then if you're going to be like that. Oh, we got another spot here. It looks like I'm gonna have to. Whoa! I have to add. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bunch out here on the beach. Yeah. Oh, actually, that was part of the problem. I was using fence supports, not fence foundations. to these guys it consumed all the element and it needed more than the five that it said ah uh oh oh weird mine did and it just knocked me unconscious oh well these well, are some super special 
Equus. And I just land out in the water. Oh, uh, here, I'll drag you out of the water. If I can. Uh, here, let me use a grapple, I guess. Why is it not letting me pull you? Maybe once I'm on shore. It's pulling me to you. It won't let me pull you. I guess you have higher drag weight or something. Um, I can't seem to pull purple out of the water. If anybody else wants to try. I think that this sure. dino suit here would give you some air. It looks like it's very full of air. All right, finish up this thingy. Purple doesn't seem like you're drowning. Um, when you're knocked out, I'm not sure if you're able to see that or not. back and get more element considering it uh here i got i got some it should be more than enough here i'll put some on this platform in a box or something too some more element sorry folks about having to do all of this ad mini type stuff during the stream i tried to get it done beforehand but sometimes unforeseen things seem to happen as they say the best laid plans of mice and men need to go afoul or something like that uh, Are they still getting out, or did I patch all the leaks? Not seeing any of the new ones escaping. Uh-oh. What happened, Gary? Um, kick to the head. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was going to name the one. This one. Well, it might have been the third kick to the head, but yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to figure out when to press E. Yeah, just uh, basically as soon as the horse starts to buck. It, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, if they get stuck in a corner, that can be problematic. Yeah. So in that case, if it's stuck in a corner, just keep your eye on the lower right of the screen and yeah. just watch as soon as that icon pops up, hit E to feed yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Now we go. So can... It's like it seems like I either I hit E and I dismount and then I have to get back on or I get kicked in the head. Yeah. If you hit E too <laughs> early, then, you know, E pops you out of the saddle. So. Yeah, I've had to yeah. hit it three times. E to feed it the first time, E to ride it, and then E again, because it bucks immediately. Yes. Right. 
But then, and then after that, yeah, you just gotta watch for the prompt. It'd be nice if it was a separate key so you could just spam it. Yeah, that would be nice. They probably did it that way on purpose. Okay, let's call you... Huh. Kind of like Splatter as a name. Let's call you Splatter. Splatter. <laughs> so what's the uh, verdict to use Kibble or Element? or? Uh, element. Element seems to be the fastest. Kibble. Yeah. Uh, kibble should be the fastest. I just don't think we have any. So. Oh, if Kibble's faster, then I can put some Kibble in the box. I mean, it's, we're I mean, using all the exploits three, here. Five. Because I'm just trying to help you guys tame your own Equus, because I know some of you haven't done it before. I yeah, still haven't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If anybody wants to try Simple Kibble, there will be some of that in this box in a second. Yeah, if I can stop punching the box, that would be good. Yeah, that's the one thing with this Nucleus mod, is sometimes when you got the overlay up, it's like it doesn't notice that the overlay is up, and so you're clicking and it thinks you're trying to punch stuff. Okay. And then this guy also needed a name. This one, maybe we can name Squiggles. Here we go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I've learned a lot about doing events from the Architects events, Xant, including the fact that there are always unforeseen things that happen. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been an event planner and done real life events, and the same is also true of real life events. Got a plan for the unexpected, as they say, which is kind of impossible to do. So you kind of, I guess, just have to learn to problem solve on the fly a bit and just kind of be okay with things not always going according to plan. Ooh, that's kind of a pretty color combo. I think that must be one of the random ones. Interesting. Got a lot of the squiggly ones, and then there's some of these stripey ones. I haven't really seen any with the circle pattern. Awesome. You got one. Game. Yeah. Woo -hoo. It's a purple one, unfortunately, but. Well, hey, you know, you can trade with somebody if you want. <laughs> Is there something specific you're after? What color are you like? Oh, any shade of green. But no, this will this a. I I got a shade of green. I got three shades of green. That teal is kind of nice. That dark purple Yeehaw. stripey one is pretty cool. Which I, I didn't, speaking of yeehaw, I didn't even realize until <laughs> I was setting up for this that that the Equus have a C attack and that if you hit C that's what makes them rear back which was really nice for getting a screenshot yeah yeah well I guess we're just going to have lots of colorful horses around this part of the desert for a while nice hey Ma Math Glad you could join us. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Nanashi um, slash Gextrix. I'm not going to respond to that comment. Uh, <laughs> Joel's I am loving Cabalus. Cabalus is an absolutely gorgeous map. And it's got a really nice mix of biomes, it feels like, without feeling like an island reboot. You know, it, it feels unique. It feels like its own thing. Like, we're in a deserty area here, but it doesn't feel like scorched earth, you know? It's got the palm tree situation going on instead, and all these really cool rock formations. Woo! Yep, yep, I just 
sending on out in a few months when Tallulah refreshes her servers. Instead of Spaltelheim being on a cluster, Kabbalists will be on a cluster. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'll be that'll be cool. You guys will get to spend a little bit of extra time on there since, of course, this server is only up for a few hours a week. But well, that's still a few months away. Yeah. Well, you like to plan things in advance. That's cool. We should be on the lookout for some good flyers because we're going to finally be high enough level to make Pteranodon saddles after this week because the level cap was raised to 40. Or go get a griffin. That's true. There are griffins on this map too. In fact, there are some not that far away, the just to the north of the desert here. I, I have seen griffins up in those hills there. there. I've also seen aloes and stuff, but... Yeah. Yeah, the being able to play on a PC is really amazing, Matt. The mods really do make the game, but I, I've got to say, though, that the modding community has really contributed so much to the ARC world, even for people who can't use the mods, just because so much modded content has ended up in the base game. Well, hello there, Moss Chops. A Tinto Berry, huh? That can probably be arranged. Could use a Moss Chops for some large eggs for superior kibble. Speaking of which, though. Looking yeah, for a backup horse. No one's acting up and barking at my door. Oh, you got another polar bear out there? No, she just wants attention. Uh. She's probably jealous because we're not playing on her servers, huh? <laughs> yeah, Tallulah's wrath. Yep. All right. Does everybody have an Equus tamed? Couple. Nice. Is there anybody who does not have one tamed yet? Yeah, um, I have one tamed. Okay. I I could have sworn last week that Anna or somebody found an improved saddle blueprint for Equus. Does anybody remember if that's the case? I saw a Senate in the smithy over there. Okay. Well, uh, let's... But I thought it was an actual saddles. Uh, maybe. Let me go check. Oh boy, we got a Spino in our uh, little pond next to the tower. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. level maybe if 95. if we all kick it, we can oh, knock it out. We probably could, actually. Okay. Oh, it, it is a blueprint. Sweet. It, uh, we're gonna need uh, quite a bit of hide though. So we may need to do a little bit of hide farming or I could just spawn it in, but hey, where's the fun in that? We do have some things that can gather hide. So we should try to grab as much as we can, legit style. And then we also need a bunch of fiber and stone and wood. We need like 4,500 fiber, 6,800 hide, 2,200 stone, 2,400 wood, approximately. All right, well, Moss Jeps, I guess we might take you out to get some fiber then. Don't think Anna's going to be able to join. I haven't heard from her this week. She may be otherwise occupied sadly i'm sure she's not doing anything nearly as fun as joining us but oh well let's see oh oh that's oh yeah we have those rexes that from the arena that i got in the arena i forgot about those and we also have terror birds so we could run around with terror birds with the rexes following since we don't have saddles for them yet get hide that way that how much fun. wood do we need um like 2500 per saddle or so why do we need ascendant saddles 
Well, let's just say that this horse race is not just across the beach. It, we're going to be going... Uh... If, you, if you open up your map, we're starting at the bottom southeast corner of the map, like basically like 101 or something, <laughs> the, the very, very corner of the map. And we're going clear across the entire southern bottom of the map and then up the eastern side and halfway up to the top. So we're going across a lot of territory. And I'm sure y'all don't want to lose the lovely horses you, you just got. Speaking of which, I've already lost mine because I can't find it. What? How did you manage that? Hand me another one? Didn't you put it in a soul orb? I don't have crystal on me. Uh, well, if you pop back to Tom here, we have some here. Okay, well, hold on, let me at least... Where did you lose it? I have no idea. Well, I mean, obviously, but where were you inside the area, or...? Why it was I... not inside the area, it's... It's a stupid gun. Gary, did you go off to tame that green necklace? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. That's I was good. like, oh, I like that pattern even better. I know, right? Plus, now that I got the hang of it, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Purple, I think I found your horse. I think I have that color. I still haven't ever seen a prompt to just watching its behavior. Oh, yeah. Pretty much all I have to do is wait for it to buck and press E. If you don't have enough stuff in it, then... Or if you don't have enough, um, like, kibble on your bar, then it will kick you. Hmm. Huh. This Spino is kind of making me nervous. You know, I, I, I think I'm just gonna... Nice. Pass out these Rexes or something. You gotta watch the horses, they keep taming on passive flea. Um, purple, yours is at the ranch. Oh, that would make sense. different mine? Or does it? Oh, jeez, that thing is hitting hard. I'm glad I popped the Rexes out to deal with it. Oh, jeez. That was a little too close. Go get him! Go get him, you guys! Slow pokes! Yeah? There we go. Good job, guys. Come on, yeah. You guys are not very good swimmers, are you? There you are. Now, do we have something in here for cooking meat? Yes.
All right. Well, we got some meat cooking up back at base here. Come on, I thought we had spark powder. Oops. What screw it. I don't have time for this. You leave the wood gathering to me. Alrighty then. Okay, we need to cook up food for everybody. Because we will definitely want that on this epic journey. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Pretty, pretty one. Oh, and they, we did get one with the circle pattern. like a squiggly circle pattern or something. Really cool mask on its face. Whose are these two here? Those are mine. Very cool looking ones. All right, boys. I guess we're going out to get hide then. All right. And I'll pop out the other terror birds. I would oh, help wow. if you guys didn't get yourself stuck on the equus, dummies. Okay. Okay. The thunder flaps was mine. Uh, we will put. Oh wow. That's right. You got a mammoth in the arena from the gamble chest last time. Okay. This level 18 terror bird is... Yeah, that one's not going to be much help. So we will leave that one behind. You are not big enough to ride this ride. All right. Let's go see what we can munch. I'm eating horses. <laughs> Except they give a lot of pelt. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, your ma my Rexes are getting stuck on your mammoths. Yeah, I'm lagging as well, so. Uh, All right. You've got some levels. Yeah, that was a mistake, Hyena Duns. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Alright, now... Trying to decide if I should actually run the race with you guys, or if I should fly above you so that everybody can have a better view of the race. So, we will... We will leave it up to the chat. Do you, do you guys want to get a first person view of the race or more of a third person omniscient type of view of the race? It would help if I could spell here. There we go. So, Purple, do you know what mod you're wanting to compete for? Uh, 
Have you decided? Um, I don't think I was in um, no, I don't think you chat when you brought yet. that up. Uh, okay. So do we have a list here, or is it on Discord? I was gonna, I was gonna post a list, and then did not get a chance to do that yet. So, but basically, if you have a favorite building mod or dino mod such as uh, and we're not talking the full overhaul type mods we're talking the smaller dino mods like atlas creatures or the marnie's wildlife one or um like castles keeps and fortresses castles keeps and fortresses remastered oh jeez you've got some levels on you dude all right i should pop down there and post up a list so y'all can choose um, Was immersive have... taming on the list? Yes, that's. Con I'm considering that a dino mod because it changes kind of how you interact with the dinos. Okay, well that's the one then. Ah, well it looks like two of y'all going for that one, huh? Let's give you some more health. Okay, let's head back then, I guess. Come on, guys. Let's head back so we can teleport over to the ranch and put up some billboards. It would take a little bit to go there on foot. Eh, not too terribly bad. Yeah, let's go the fun way. Come on, guys. So what is the restriction? The mods that we want below um, below one thousand megabytes for now. Okay. If if we add a couple more big ones, we'll have to lower the lower that. But for now, I think we could fit a couple more that okay. are in that kind of range. Yeah. So like castles, keeps, and fortresses, I think is six thousand. I mean six thousand six hundred in some. Uh, Castles, Keeps, and Fortresses science, the sci-fi variant is actually a little smaller than that. Less, yeah. Yeah. But it depends on the the look of what y'all are wanting to build here. I'm con I'm counting uh, architect structures, core and architect structures atlas together as one. And so those two together are a little over 500 megabytes, I think. I think they're like 600 and something. So similar in size to CKFR. Hey there, Spino. Yeah, you see a tasty terror bird here? I've got some buddies I want you to meet. Where are you going? Come back here. Come on, you coward. Yeah. Oh, Joel's is saying Marnie Wildlife is really cool. The, there's the snow leopards in there, the snow cats. Oh, those are. Yeah. That would yeah, be a fun one to have. Too. Uh huh. Oh, well, what do you know? That was a. Uh, that was not that strong of a spino. I guess I managed to kill it long distance with my shotgun. Now, how are we going to get you guys across there, considering that you are terrible swimmers? Let's see, I, there might be a land bridge or something across here. Or, oh, it's shallower over here. Let's just do that. There's not a whole lot to munch on the way, though. I actually turned up the dino spawn rate above what it is in our typical clusters. I think on Anna's maps, it's about 0.8. 
And I think I put it up to at least 1.1 on here, if not 1.4 or so. But even still, this map does feel a little empty in some areas. I mean, that is fairly realistic, though. Probably should just put you guys on aggressive, but then you'd be running wild all over the place. Munching absolutely everything in sight and not really listening to me. Well, we're almost there. Let's keep going. Ugh, we had it, and then lag bounced us back. Dang it. Come on, why am I not... There we go. Oh, there's camels in that mod? That sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey there, Aaron W. Glad you could join us. We are still getting ready, getting geared up for the horse race. We tamed us some equuses, and now we're farming mats to make saddles. And then we are about to get started. We also... I figured we might as well farm the mats because we needed to cook some food and stuff anyway. Because this is a long distance race. I was inspired by the movie I watched years ago. I should watch that again sometime. Hidalgo with Viggo Mortensen. So we're going to do... I like that one. Yeah, it's a great movie. So we're going to do a long distance horse race across the desert and down the beaches and through the swamp and through the volcanic biome. It's about halfway up the eastern coast of this map. There is a really cool, uh, it's kind of like the obelisks on this map, I guess, but there's this massive monument with these huge horse statues that y'all are going to really want to see anyway because they're so cool and that's going to be the finish line Getting, okay uh nope you cannot fly for anything can you terror bird oh there's another bronto that's the meat Tasty, tasty Bronto. Come on now. Oh, there's our arena. It is funny how it just pops into existence. Yeah, it looks like so far the results of the poll are 83% yes, so it's looking like I may be running in the race with y'all. Hey! <laughs> Get stuck. Good. Got stuck under Rex butts here. Come on. Why are you being so slow? Are you, like, loaded down or something? Nah, you're just really, really weak, I guess. Let's transfer that meat out of you. So you can move decently. Nope, that did not work. There we go. Now you can move a little faster anyway. Definitely gonna have to put some levels into speed though.
I feel like I do have a little bit of a... Oh, there's a unicorn over here. It's a 140 unicorn. Um, anyway, I do feel like I have a little bit of an advantage because I planned out the course, but the thing is I, I have not run it on foot. And it's going to be very different on the ground. And uh, it's it won't be hard to actually follow the course because as long as you keep the ocean to your right as we go, and as long as you're able to catch a glimpse of the ocean occasionally, it's not a it shouldn't be a hard course to follow. All right. How much hide do you guys got now? Uh, you've got 1,800 and some. Yeah, well, we put in an honest effort. We may end up having to spawn in the rest, though. Because nobody wants to watch us doing this all day. <sighs> so... Where did, where's the water in here? I wanted to check this, this fire, though. Oh! Other people have already taken all the meats. Oh well. Where's the water? I could have sworn I put a tap around here somewhere. Did I not? Hmm. Alright. Well, we will teleport you guys back then and offload all of this meat. Let's set this to large range and move you guys a little closer here. Come on. You know, one thing I do like about the S plus or the SS or S plus teleportation is that it is fast. You don't have to sit there waiting while a big bubble loads up like you do with awesome teleporters. But awesome teleporters has its benefits as well. Such as if you aren't cheating and spawning things in, you don't have to do a boss fight before you can actually use it like you do with SS and S+. Plus. Because they make you unlock the vanilla variant before you can make their version. All right, so. We don't have, um, we don't have the crafting skill potion mod on here, but I think there is a potion in Kai's Apothecary that lets you reset your engrams if you want to be able to craft something with higher crafting skill. Um, let's see, which one is it? It's not any of those. It might be one of the ones you craft in the fireplace. Yes, the stupefy potion. It does reset your Ingram points, though. But anyway, it's their version of a Mind Wipe, but at least it doesn't spoil. It is consumable, though. We also have access to the Lethal's Reusables version of a Mind Wipe, which, as you might guess by the name, is reusable, at least. All right, hide. Or we can just make it, we don't really need to crafting skill the saddle. It's a good enough Engram, I mean, it's good enough blueprint anyway, that that's probably a little excessive anyway. Oh, wow. Purple's got some, you have been gathering a lot of wood. That's pretty cool. Okay, I did set up a room in the tower, which is still not finished, but I set up a room up here for storage 
So here we have our bulk storage containers. And not all of them have been assigned yet. I, I took one. Okay. No worries. And I think I also had... I don't know what I did with it. I'm just going to spawn one in anyway. Um, the, the input. I wanted to try out the input that was just added with the most recent update. Normally, as Purple was telling me, you can't actually uh, unlock the Engram for that until level 90, but part of what we're doing here is testing mods. So let's test this mod. Ooh. And you dyed your dino skin, I see. Very nice. Okay, let's, let's put this auto sorter over here. And it just, oh, wow, it automatically puts things away if you've got a Deddy storage set up for it. Nice. Yeah, that is one of my favorite types of mods in this game, honestly, is ones that help with inventory management, because you really do not want to be spending all day putting stuff away. And it feels like when playing vanilla, that's a lot of what you end up doing. So, did, did it do it? Because not all those things had containers. Um, it, okay, it looks like it put away the ones that had containers. Okay. Cool. Let us... Ah, hitting my head on the staircase here. Did the rest just stay in here? Yes, okay. I was wondering how that would work. Okay. Let's set up containers for these then. <coughs> Bless you. And there we go. And then let's see if it will automatically update when I set up containers for the meat and send it up to here, or if I have to, like, refresh it or something. So I am curious about how that works. Oh, yeah, it it's automatically... It's not the uh, spoil timers until you get into the metal. That's okay. I mean, we've got so much meat in here anyway. That... Not too worried about that. At least it's all in one place. They're really easy to set up, though. It's pretty cool how the modder decided to do it. Instead of choosing items from a list, to set up the Deddy storages, like you have to for the S Plus Deddy storages, you just put the thing in them and then it works. And you can actually pull from these to craft with SS or S Plus, unlike with the vanilla tech, uh, the vanilla Deddy storages. Those do not give you the option to be able to pull from them. Um, let's put our uh, trophies in one of these and. And it doesn't matter um, um, on, on like a additional like I and I to be able to put stuff in. Yeah, it's really uh, nice for that reason. Take a, come back up here, take a look at this. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do this. Yeah, you can put anything in it. That's pretty cool. Even modded stuff. Very nice. Will it let you put in... Oh my gosh, you can put... You can literally put in anything. You can even put in dinos in soul orbs. And also tributes. Nice. Yeah, we probably don't want to 
set up one for each kind of tribute, but it is really cool that you can do that. Yeah, I put all, I put tributes so far into this bottom one on the left here. I've got a few in there. All right. Well, we can make the we can make the Equus saddles now. Oh, and we got some reusable grapples in there too. Nice. I already made one, so I don't need one. Okay. Oh, all of our trees are gone. Dang it, we're gonna have to make some uh, re-fertilizer, get some of the pretty trees back. All right, let's see. 1999. Probably takes Squiggles just because he's the highest level. But might bring the others just as a backup. You crafting saddles, Zanzibar? I was, while well, I was okay. trying to, but we don't have enough stone. Oh. Uh, it's okay, I'll just make it. Here, uh, let me... Let me go get some stone up here. We have spent enough Man. time crafting. Has everybody else put saddles? I have not. I do not have saddles yet. Okay. Do not. We need, okay. like, 2,000 Okay. So... That's doable. Her saddle. Now you should be able to pull to craft it. There it goes with the punching things again. Oh, hey, demonic! Welcome! Yeah, this is our wizard tower base that I built in creative mode since this. Uh, this server is only open a few hours a week, so there isn't really time to build stuff legit style. We've all done that before, and this one's about doing things differently, you know? Having fun, doing crazy challenges and stuff. It's not as much about us running around breaking rocks and <laughs> chopping down trees constantly. So, yeah, get some creative building on here. Ah, your phone died, Zant. That's not, that sucks. Oh, a demonic crunk likes your purple dino suit there. Purple. It is a very nice, very nice color. I agree. Yeah. Getting caught up here. Yeah. Okay. Is that, um, did, did you make enough saddles for everybody or do you need some more stuff? Uh, how's the saddle making effort going there? Yeah, uh, yeah, I probably should have said you. Oh, I made you a normal the... one. <laughs> Rode off. You did? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm here spawning in ingredients so you can make the Ascendant one. Oh. Yeah, th we, um, let's see, right, where we're at now is we need more hide. Okay, well, I got just spawned in a bunch of that too because I'm just a oh. cheaty type of person, as you all know, so here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Somebody made them. I was getting ready to. Boom. Cool. Shaka Luka. Oh. Yeah, this this build is not quite finished yet. I do want to add a, a turret tower top, probably at least another level or two. 
but yeah, I've, I've been wanting to kind of perfect a round tower base design for a while. So yeah, this was a fun chance to be able to do that. I did a build stream when I started this tower. Oh my gosh, this Nanny Plus actually has an eating animation. What? Did not know that was a thing. All right, so who still needs a saddle? Hey. I do not. I have one. I need one. Um... We are short a thousand, just over a thousand hide to make another one. All right, not for long. There's a regular yeah, but the regular one, when everybody else has ascendant I ones, know. that doesn't seem quite fair. I'm going to have to leave a comment. I do love this Nucleus mod, but the constantly punching things when I'm trying to spawn stuff in is a little annoying. Alright, you should be able to pull it. More. Okay, there's one more. Anybody else? Zan, do you need one? No. Good. You're gonna go with the primitive okay, saddle, or did you get a good one? I got, I got a good one. Okay. And of course, um, oh, great. What? Did you disconnect? You just collapsed here on the ground. <laughs> I yep. guess. Quick, kill Darnie. <laughs> what do we got here? Okay. All right, well, the starting line is actually at a different teleport location. So y'all can head there. I think it says on the teleport. Um, it does. Yeah. Oh, there's my saddle. Come back here. And make sure to grab some food. I had meat cooking up here. Because it is a long race. So make sure you got water and food and all of that good stuff. I'm going to put some of this in the preserving bin. There we go. All right. Got a wild wood here. Wild horse? Noise? Yeah, at the start location. Well, it's one of the spawned in wild ones, I think. Okay. 200s. Well, let's change the time here real quick so we can actually see stuff. we go uh, he was a second ago when I saw him okay. uh, I think it uh, got teleported with us and he was logged out so he was no. left behind no. I can see him oh that again okay yeah. that I assure you I was not invincible I was mounted on the horse but I did get caught in a teleport with y'all yeah, it must have been like a visual glitch or something. You, you were invisible okay, yeah. to us. <laughs> yeah, I was like, trust me, on my screen now is not invisible. That was not, not now, oh, you're not. And let's you're see, now. which one of you guys' is shit did I take? How many levels? It was you... like you became visible when you dismounted for some reason. Huh. Maybe it's something about the costume you're wearing. Maybe. Because it's not right for a dinosaur to be riding in a horse. <laughs> you know, just... It's possible. 
<laughs> if it was a compi, maybe. <laughs> Anything is possible. But that's a Rex. Uh -huh. Sort of. Sort of. Kind of Dwarf like a Rex. Rex. Okay, let's see. I'm 24 speed now. You've got 126 speed. All right. I did kind of like the purple anyway. Switch to my desert cloth, which is almost broken. And you can go back in a soul orb. All right. There's my cowboy hat. There we go. Does everyone have a backup horse just in case? Hopefully it will not be needed, but I think that is a good idea. You know what? I'm going to get some berries for this horse, actually. Well, I'm just going to get berries for Ooh, it on the way. Yeah, that is a pretty horse. We're going to have all these distracting pretty horses running around now. Oh, there's a pretty green one. You guys just wanted to be part of the race, didn't you? All right. Let's line up here then. And let me get some race music ready here. Let's see. So what direction are we heading? Okay. If you pull out your map and look at it, pretty much straight ahead of us is the way we need to go. If in doubt, though, look at your map. Yeah, we're going straight due east. And then when you get to the corner of the map around uh, 90, 10, around 90, 90, it, it's going to be all pretty green and fairly flat over there. But that's basically when you're going to turn and go north. If you just keep the ocean to your right as you go, it, it's pretty hard to get lost. Once, once we get into the volcanic biome, uh, you will want to pay a little bit more attention to your surroundings. There are some chasms and the likes, and there, there's land bridges going over them, but you have to kind of keep your eyes peeled and actually find the land bridges and not just run off the edge and into a chasm somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're just running around the edge of the map. You pretty much we're op running around. Complete opposite side of the map. Yes, to the complete opposite side of the map, the obelisk thingy, you can't miss it, honestly. If you get anywhere within, you know, 10 miles of it, you can pretty much see it. It's it's uh, one of the obelisks for the map, but it's this massive okay. monument with these ginormous red and black horses on it. And it's at right around 4585-ish uh, on the map. So that is where we are headed. And the first person there will get to choose their choice of mod to be added to the map next time. Purple, are you using an invisibility potion? Because oh. you appear to be invisible again. That is weird. Okay. All right. Uh, so for me, I think that if I get my choice, I will be going for uh, architect structures. Core and Architect Structures Atlas. Oh, now I can see purple. Purple, what are you going for? Um, immersive Taming. Immersive Taming? All right, Zanzibar, do you have a choice? Uh, I have one of two, uh, either Resource Editions or, let's see, it was the uh, the Medieval Roleplay Deco. Oh, yeah, that one looked really cool. Very cool. And Sama? I was going to go for immersive taming. Okay. Well, purple did decide to go for that. You could also go for that. Or if you, if you'd rather, somebody could go for Atlas creatures or Marnie's wildlife, but I don't have a problem with you guys both going for the same one. That's fine too. Gary, did you have one? Oh, uh, no, not really. Although <laughs> Marnie's sounds kind of the. Okay. The Marnie's wildlife. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. Let me get the music going here. All right. 
On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's a good thing the water is not too terribly deep here. Blaster says, may the best Equus and Rider win. I just realized that my lag oh, no. is making me go less than everybody else. Oh. catch a glimpse of the sea occasionally. Okay. Oh, there's the arena. Noble steeds to victory, indeed, demonic. Uh oh. I know, I can hear him. Yeah, Purple was fighting a Baryonyx. Yeah, they stopped fighting you and then started they that they were trying to move. Woohoo! Nice! Yeah, whew. I was a little nervous about getting cap road going through the swamp, but so far have not seen any cap road. Oh, but there's more swamp. Okay. This is where I wish you could have a mini map up. Right? That would be really nice. I need a mod for that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there is. I think one of the Spyglass mods that's out there kind of has that. I'll have to remember which one that was. I looked at a few different ones. Oh, geez. Okay, this is this is the real swamp. Oh yeah. Beaver dams. Yeah. As long as there's no capros or leeches, I draw the line at leeches. Onward, noble steed! <laughs> Turtle jumping, that would be quite a contest. <laughs> <clears throat> I was thinking it might be kind of funny to have an Akatina race sometime. Just have the racetrack be like two foundations long or something. <laughs> That's like watching paint dry. <laughs> might be kind of funny though. I'll pull out the mini map for a second. I mean, pull out your map and take a look. Oh, and now I got an alarm going off. Hey, 
Oh, and that was a loop drop. I just jumped over. Uh, can we go up this way? Uh, uh, come on, come on, up, up, up. Come on. No, you will not go up that way. Dang it. Okay, now I can't turn off this stupid alarm. There, go away. Go away. Mm -hmm. This looks like a lot of water. Ooh, that's a pretty horse. And now we need more music. Um, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, this piece was called Horses and Trains, so it seemed like it might fit. Oh boy. Uh, that's a lot of swimming here. Probably should have gone farther inland here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a very obvious. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Yes, I got stunned. Um, come on. Can I do something here? And horse. Defend yourself, horse. behind everybody else now. There's a tower. Tower with a dog. Uh, Baryonyx appears to have given up on the horse. Now let's see if I can actually find it. If anybody else is in earshot, I apologize because I'm repeatedly whistling J and passive. Here you are. Come back here. Rex is. No, we're Come back here. Passive. Why are you not listening to me? and scorpions oh my oh geez now you're running back towards the water you're gonna get yourself jumped by a baryonyx again oh geez are you seriously kidding me i whistled for it to stop and so it ran back to the baryonyx and stopped there in front of the baryonyx oh nice yeah is this like a seawall oh <sighs> Oh, you guys are all the way there? My goodness, I'm never going to catch up with y'all. I'm already past the seawall. I'm surrounded by, like, Megalania right now. Uh, come on, come on, come on. It's oh, I'm glad, you like, I'm glad you like the playlist, Demonic Crunk. The problem is, in order for everybody oh. to be able to hear it in... Why am I rubber banding? In order for everybody to be able to actually hear it, um, who's on Discord yeah, as well, I have to kind of queue up each song individually. Uh, that was not the correct one. Dang it. Okay, this one then. Yeah, you're kind of handicapped trying to race and be DJ. Exactly. So where are they going? North, she said. North, east. To the ginormous oh, dire wolves. Yep, there's all kinds of nasty stuff over there. Oh, okay. Got to find a way around this. Oh, except the dire bird just pushed me off. Shit. Now I'm down in the water. Uh. Fudge. <laughs> well, maybe I'll finally have a chance of catching up. There were some in the smithy. <laughs> I thought it was a horse race. Well, yeah, but I mean, I used I used my grappling hook to escape the baryonyx. Uh, 
I think yeah, they're... I'm like swimming around in this canyon, these narrow canyons. Uh, let's find see. A way is out. there any way across here? Okay, is there one of those handy? Oh, oh come on, Microraptor! Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great terror bird! Oh. Yeah, it's the terror bird that pushed me in the water. I'm like trying to find a way around this canyon. Oh, come on! I'm it. dead. Oh. Oh, yeah. Can't throw my horse. Dang it. Quite prophetic there. Uh, oh, that's, that's where I call it a night. Aww. There are beds. Uh, oh, jeez. There's two Rexes. Uh. You can respawn back at base, and you're, you'll have all your stuff. And so, if you had another horse in your inventory, you'll have it there. Uh, let's see, I could pop down a bed over here, probably. I think right? I'm just gonna hop off because honestly, screw that. Nope. Okay. All right then. Okay, I finally made it to the seawall here. Horse does not seem to like the stairs all that much. This is a really pretty area here, though. Alright. Ooh, there's like ruined ships over in the bay there. That's really cool. Ooh, and that's a quite up of a bug. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up having to swim all the way to the ocean. Oh! Get out of this watery maze. You said giant horse statues? Yes. And there's an obelisk terminal thingy in the middle. I think I see them way off in the hills. Yeah, you can see them from far away, kind of like an obelisk. Ooh, there's lots of obsidian over here. And, and a death worm. Megalanias. A death, death worm? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh geez, that was not a good spot to lag. I almost ended up in the canyon too. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just got out of there. Yeah, if you get in there, you want to just swim to the coast. Yeah. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, now oh, I'm stuck in a tree. The map. What? Oh. Bill agree. Oh, yeah, that rock is not something I can stand on. Oh, no. That sucks. There was a spot oh. like that on Svartalheim. Oh. Yeah. Um, as soon as I'm somewhere that I can stop, I can pop down a bed for you. Oh, I, I lived. Okay. Just the horse didn't. Oh, geez, we probably don't want to go down into those sulfur pools. Oh, those that look is bad. an alpha raptor. Uh. Ooh. Very angry critters around here. Just Come on, up. Oh. All the way back out to the Oh, and rock golems, and a titanosaur. A titanosaur? Why? Yeah. Is that a game? Oh, they put them in the horse. Okay, that's an interesting. No, this choice. must not be right. This is four giant horses, but I'm kind of middle of the map, not top north. Oh wow! Well, 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 it's Middle East. Is 
Uh, yeah, forty three eighty seven. Yep, that's it. I guess you're the winner. Winner, Equus dinner. <laughs> I don't want to eat an Equus. I was looking for a girlfriend. Yeah, nobody wants to eat an Equus. Equus is well, no. Phil, Phil, Phil agree was on the menu. I just poor Phil agree. All right. Well, if anybody does die, I've got a bed here. Better than eating purple type lotion. I mean, no. Yeah. All right. Uh. Ooh. Back up a little, Aquas. Come on. Maybe we can at least manage to beat Zanzibar. Come on. Oh, don't tell me this is a dead end. Yeah, I said that the, the terrain over here is tricky. You gotta watch for those ah. land bridges. Yeah, that's like cliff all the way down to the frickin' uh... Oof. Almost killed my horse. Oh. Rock golem. Oh! Sent me flying off the cliff. Oh, jeez. Zant says that Equus sounds delicious. Oh, oh my gosh, I just got very, very lucky. A Perlovia jumped me, but it missed. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, well, there's some very dead Morelatops there. Oh, and that is a Thyla. Oh, there's the four yeah. horses up there. Carnos, Thylas. Deathworms, yeah. Mantis. Some cool ruins over here that I would love to explore some other time. So did you guys go along the beach or up higher? Up higher. I went up higher. I will be right back. Yeah. Well, I went up higher too. Kind of dead end. I mean, I've got a horse with broken uh, bones. So he's limping. Is it up top or down below? Okay. It's cool. it's very it's up high. It's one of the highest points in the terrain around here. I just want to make sure we're going Oh, the to finish the line, line is? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to the ob or To the ob, yeah. Oh, that's a giga. Oh jeez. That's a giga. That was not there when I was scouting this route earlier. Oh jeez. Of course not. Uh, now I got a death worm on me. Shit. I didn't even know that yeah. those were over yeah, here. With broken bones, I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose this horse. That was another Thyla. Oh, and there's... That's a rock golem. And that's a Deodon. Just run, 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 horsey. Run, run as fast as you can. Looks like it's possible to go through here. Maybe, sort of. Oh, that's a dire wolf. Crap. Ooh, I think I'm getting close ish. I'm really glad that these horses were high level ones because I've not had to stop for stamina even once. Oh. Well, break your bones and they won't. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Woohoo! Woohoo! We made 
find it. Hmm. Yep, and there's Sama. Oh, it looks like Zanzibar beat me here. Reach. Looks like Zanzibar beat me. Yep. Yep, well, this time I guess I came in third place. <laughs> oh, now I got Perloviad. Oh! Now where oh, was the no. scorpion? There was a scorpion around here. What are you trying to... Oh! I was trying... Oh, you were fighting... You were fighting a vulture. That's what you were doing. Okay. Oh! Are we supposed to be up here in the platforms or down there by the... Uh, thing. Well, up there by the platforms is kind of where we're meeting. I didn't think that it would necessarily be safe to just hang around down there long term ish. So is it whoever gets to the very top of the clock? No, just whoever made it to the to oh, the okay. ob, basically. I was like, I'm up here. I saw that actually come on there. I saw her name tag up there, so I think she oh. did. I didn't go all the way to the top. I got about Mommy. halfway up to the top and half ran to the bathroom. Yes. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's drop the stuff. No longer in there, in creative mode. Can't move. All right, horsey. We'll get you up one way or another. Woo! Do you need a solo? Oh, no, I got some things. Whew. Okay, now if you guys are talking in there about collard greens, uh, let me get in the chat here. Collard greens. Yeah. All right. My three-year-old says I did not win. She won. Oh. She okay. won the race, not me. Okay. All right. Well, she won then. Okay, you won. <laughs> so Zant is saying that. <laughs> There's, Zant says, there's a saying down here in the south, there's a place for all of God's critters right next to the mashed taters and gravy. <laughs> it's fair. Oh, God. Wow. Yummy. <laughs> uh, don't, don't get off of the, uh, the platform. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is a, there is a meshing spot right next to it that I found the hard way as well. Um, and Gary, I'm going to put down some beds over here, so if you die, you can come up the hard, the easy way if you would like. Or if you have not already respawned. Yeah, there was a bed down Yeah, well, down in Miglania territory. I, yeah, I lost yes. the second horse there. Okay. Not yeah. died, but lost it. I think it was on passive flea or something. So. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, thank you, Demonic. We're not quite done yet, though. We're going to have some more fun on the way back because now we're clear all the way over here on the other side of the map, and our base, it, you know, the wizard tower is back on the southwest. So now we got to get back again. All right. So, yeah, though, about the mashed taters and gravy, Blaster says, don't forget the collard greens, and Zant says, collard, turnip, or mustard greens with bacon. Oh. <laughs> Blaster says, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Wait a minute, I found a castle. Oh, yeah, there's a ruin. Really, there's a really awesome ruins around here. Oh, I see the horses up in the distance. Yeah, they are massive. I gotta check out that green area on the southeast. That was really pretty. Lots of megalania, but yeah, that was a pretty area. Definitely, yeah. I th I definitely think that once we've got a building mod or two installed on here, it'd be fun to have an episode where everybody gets to go build their base or something. And we might either turn up gathering rates really high or find a way to give everybody access to creative mode so that we can do it fairly quickly. And here in the potions part, 
I put a sampling of some of the potions and things that are available with the uh, Kai's Apothecary mod. Here, let me turn the other music back on. I think I ran, I think I went through all of my Western <laughs> music that was available. So we'll go back to the cyberpunk dark synth, synth uh, mix music from white back audio. <laughs> Okay. Which the people in Discord cannot also hear. I did the other stuff uh, um, through voice mods so that y'all could hear the music. But oh, this is this is awesome though. Check this out. I was playing around with this with the the mod earlier. Why am I so slow right now? Anyway, uh, check this out. This is this is fun. There's this thing called Shrink Bomb, and you put it in their costume slot. And it makes your creature miniature. And you can still ride them, but then it makes you miniature when you're on them. <laughs> oh, that's a Thyla. Oh. Okay, how do you get in here? Oh, do you, where are you guys? Up top or down below? Up, or? up top, up top, yep. Okay, that's where I am. With the Thyla. Oh, you gotta, you gotta go inside the center and then climb up the platforms. Yeah, you gotta go inside, then, yeah, we've got ladders up to platforms. It's okay, you can knock out the Thyla, right? Well, I just, I, I avoided it. Oh, good. I'm trying to find an entrance. I don't see. There's entrances. Okay, I see the tele, tele thing down below. Um. The, uh, the terminal area down below me, but. Where are you? You said you're up top. I'm I'm like near one of the horses butt. You go to the terminal and then look Oh, so I do need to go down. Yeah, you need to be Yeah, not to... not all the way down to the coast. Okay, oh, I, wait a minute. I I see you. I see you, oh, Gary. There okay, you are. here. Let me just pop up a ladder for you up to this platform here. Oh. There you go. Do you have a soul orb for your horse? I, I do. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's just barely long enough. Okay. Awesome. All right. So Sama won, so we're going to have immersive taming added to the server. Oh, check out my horse. It's miniature. And so am I. There's the Shrink Bomb is <laughs> one of the uh, Kai's Apothecary potions. It's in the potions cart. There's some potions for y'all to play work, play around with. Um, oh, and there was... This one was supposed to be in there, too. Actually, I was going to give this to you guys before the race, but I forgot. It's probably good that I didn't, because even though it says you take no fall damage, um, you can feed it to creatures, too. And I noticed the horse did take some fall damage. So probably not something you want to have. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about putting that up and then I didn't get around to it. But anyway, that's one of the decoration items. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I was like... Yeah, I just threw down the extra decorations in the box there. Ooh. Well, here, this is a reward for the horses that survived and made it all the way up here. You can have one of these for each of them. This Valerian route. It resets all their stats and then levels them up to max. Let's see how that, let's see what that does. And let's get me out of GCM here. Oh, <laughs> Demonic Krunk is saying that I should do that on a Giga. Uh, making it miniature like that. That would be interesting to try sometime. All right. Now, let's... Oh, wow, yeah. This horse now has 88 levels. And none of them are applied yet. Huh, except it looks... It does have still the, the levels that I gave it in movement, speed, and health. It looks like it still has those ones. Interesting. All right, well, let's give you some more help. 
and some more melee so you will be a knocking out things machine. Did you lose the one? Oh, my horse shrunk. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Did you lose the one that you got? I lost both green ones. Aww. One of them's dead and the other one's lost. Take that one. Lost the where? Um, over near where you'd put a bed down, I was like, I can go and try and, to look for it. And it passive fleed and ran off, and I J whistled and I said, no, "Forget uh, it, I need to keep going." Okay. I have I tamed four, so I have an extra if you want an extra. Oh, there's one. plenty hanging around. Yeah, I, I <laughs> tamed a couple. This one I know it looks identical to one of the ones that you tamed. Oh, psycho. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one that actually died. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Because I have another one. Well, uh, we actually are not going to need the horses immediately for on the way back. If you look in one of those other boxes there, there is some items that may give you a clue as to what we are doing next. Let me see if I can find hide nor hair of Gary's horse down here real quick. Times like this, it really would be cool to have that uh, awesome teleporters with the dino tracker. Now, where was that spot where I put the bed? But you, I'm sure you want your saddle, though, right? Oh, oh, I found it. I found lime. Uh, did I put a saddle? Oh, I did. You found lime? Yep. Yeah. He was in the water getting munched on by piranhas. Bringing him back. Is lime this one? It's a stripey one. Oh, yeah. And I don't think the piranha started munching on it until I came into render because its health is still almost oh, full yeah. health. Nice. There it is. Oh, and yes, it is on passively, you. so you may want to change that. Yeah. Oh, and Sama's got a mini horse too. A pony. The funny thing is they still a run as pony. Yeah. They still run as fast as the full size ones, so they look like super speedy little ponies. Oh <laughs> the jump pad so worked this the size? No, it shrinks you too. See look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like you've got a Shadow Mane's head, pretty much. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Another couple of appendages. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Well, anyway, in this a storage chest here. Oh, yeah, we've got cameras because. Everybody should have cameras to take pictures of stuff. Um, the cameras are actually awesome because if you take pictures with these, then it automatically puts them into your folder to be able to make, uh, to put them on canvases in your house. So if you want to take pictures of anything, anyway, you can feel free to help yourself to, that's, to that stuff. And then we are going to also race back to the arena. The end point is the arena this time. But we're gonna start out with the glider wings and we're gonna go, I mean, you can go around the coast if you want to, but you can also try to go a little bit more straight across the land if you would like. You can get pretty far with the gliders uh, and then toss out your horse once you get once you get down to the ground. And I highly recommend helping yourself to some of these potions as well for the journey. This acacia medley is a sub for Freya Curry, so it'll help keep you warm if it's cold. The leapfrog potion, if you eat it or feed it to your horse, it makes you jump really high. It's really fun, actually. So just take like a few of each. And then the night vision, obviously. Um, shrink potion the valerian root we already talked about that and then the wigan tree is a sub for the kalian soup so 
So that will keep you cool if it is hot. And also slow down your water consumption. There we go. I'm going to put these down in my hot bar. And yeah, why do I have, that's a lot of berries. I did not need to be carrying that many berries. Wet hair. <laughs> it's yeah. an inter interesting name for a horse. That is a beautiful horse. That is a very beautiful horse, yeah. Oh, and you even painted the saddle to match. That's awesome. Yeah, Splatter here, I did not take the time yet to paint her saddle, but I will. All right, Splatter, let's queue up and put you and in my pocket. And wet hair is on passive flea. Oh yeah, double check that for all of these guys. That's actually, I'm gonna check that as well, just to make sure. Okay, you're just on passive. You are on passive flea. So on the way back, we don't have to follow the coast. We can kind of no. go straight across. Yep, we can go more or less straight across. We just got to figure out where the arena is on straight across. Exactly. We're, Which we passed it on the way the here. Arena. Yes. Yeah. Or if it's easier, we can head back to the starting line. If that's easier to find, since it's pretty much just down at, at the 90 line. Uh, yeah, the, the 91. Or I mean, the arena is closer. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why it's I was suggesting far, the arena. So, yeah. I think the arena is at around like 9520 ish. It might be more like 25 or 30, though. I don't remember for sure and certain. I can't tell with these ghillie gloves on. They cover it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take them off. There we go. All right. And if you want to be able to coordinate or be able to see where each other are, there's flare guns in here, which are fun anyway and are a great way to we can, we can to tell people where you are. It's like 25, 30? Uh, well... Yeah. Uh, 25, well, 30 on Well, 90. Uh, yeah, 90, 90. It's like 95, and then somewhere between 20 and 30. 25. Okay. I'll yeah. Find it. Yeah. And then... So in here we've got glider wings. There are also reusable parachutes. Those are slower, but if you're not comfortable using glider wings, those are an option. There's also grappling bows. I highly recommend bringing those because the terrain in between is somewhat rough. So you might not be able to just run the whole way. There's also climbing picks in here. And I mean, maybe everybody else already knew this, but I just discovered this and thought it was super cool. The reusable glider suit, you don't have to put it on your chest. You can actually put it on any piece of your armor. You can put it on your shoes or your hat or your gloves or what anything. So you can be like Mercury, have it on your boots. <laughs> yeah, it still shows on your back, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's no fun. Yeah. Oh, hey, Contra. Welcome. Yeah, and Demonic, yeah, that's how those cameras work. I, I didn't know for a long time either, like, what's the point of the camera? But it, it makes it a lot easier to get pictures that you can put on the canvases and put up in your house. So, yeah. Aw. Super Doom says as, uh, he's been hanging in there, trying to be a good person in a big bad world. I think that's pretty much... All that any of us can hope for. <laughs> yeah. Taking it a half day at a time. Yep. All right. I'm kind of thinking, though, that maybe we maybe we shouldn't race on the way back. Maybe we should take our time and see if we can find any caves. What do you think? Hmm. Is there anything to gain from racing? Not we're just heading back. We're mostly just heading back. 
but uh, you know, just to kind of make it more fun if y'all wanted to be competitive. Um, let's see. I'm okay with taking a leisurely stroll. Okay. I'm more interested in cooperative than competitive when possible. All right. Yeah, let's do that then. And just a second, I'm going to pop another poll into the chat here. I wonder what level that thyla is. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. Thank you. oh shit. I just went through them. <laughs> that, <laughs> that wasn't That's really... A that wasn't in... It's a little startling, isn't it? At least that time you don't go all the way through. Yeah, you can't get back up. Yeah. I had to, to, I had to cheat fly back up to that plane. You can get on that sloped area right there. Um. Oh yeah. And like fall to your, your death your oh i actually have that grappling i should try that you should try there that go. first yeah i'm gonna let the chat choose a cosmetic mod for next week for us to add so i just added hey. that to the chat um no, as a... see. all right nice see that worked just fine ah oh, it except i went to it again <laughs> <sighs> Uh, try just climbing onto the platform. Yeah, that's kind of what happens, I think, when <laughs> when we mess around in areas where the modder never imagined that anybody would actually go. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure they didn't really intend for people to be snapping cliff platforms to the sides of this thing. Well, but can a I mean, why not? Stand on it? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Not over on that one side. This is a different spot. Yeah, over here. My goodness. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, goodness. I found that spot earlier. Uh huh. Okay, I guess I'm using my grapple to get back up there then. Three year old is stickering up my laptop saying, Mommy, you need these stickers. Well, of course you do. Stickers make everything better. Hey. <laughs> you need stickers right now. So. Aww. Where are you going to go through? Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's make it daytime Hilarious. so that it's not becoming night. Everybody grabbed your potions and stuff? Yeah. Yes. Alright, now remember the key to the glider suit is you've got to get enough momentum when you first get going so run and jump off and then don't be sprinting until you've got some momentum going sprinting makes you dive down at a steeper angle which sometimes you might want but probably not all the time unless you are trying to dive into the ground and smash your face against things so yeah so let's see looking at the map I think about this direction is the way we want to go. And to help with coordinating, since we are doing this in more of a cooperative type of style, grab one of the reusable flare guns, because if somebody gets lost, it's a good way to be able to find each other. And I would use the frog potion for getting the air. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Let's try that. I mean, look how high you jump with it. Woo, yes. Oh, yeah, I, I jumped off when I wasn't even meaning to jump off. Whoa, that is crazy. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> it's like you have a jump pad along with you everywhere you go. All right, here we go. Looking at the map, making sure I'm heading in the right, right, right direction. Okay, that way. Here we go. Whee! Uh, oh, oh no, that see I, I didn't follow my own advice. That's what happens when I don't listen to myself. Dang it. Well, I'll be able to jump up high somewhere and jump off the edge again. Okay, oh, oh I'm diving. 
You must be sprinting. Do you have your sprint rebound as a toggle? I do, and that's one of the reasons that I screw oh. it up sometimes. Oh, there's so much shit here. Yeah, I'm gonna sprint. Yeah, so don't sprint okay. unless you want to dive. Oh, yay. Go away. Nobody likes you, wolves. No, I don't want to be out of stamina. That is, no, This is not a great place to be yeah, out of stamina. Right? Yeah, oh, I see geez. the damage numbers. <laughs> oh, cool. This is very relaxing. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it is very relaxing indeed. Anyway, thank goodness for the um, mod that keeps your oh. death cache with you. Oh, jeez. All of this stuff is broken, though, so I will have to... <gasps> Thankfully, I still have my ghillie with me. From... Well, I, I teased the dire wolves that killed you. I'm trying to draw them off the cliff here. Aw, well, thank you. Now, where's... Okay. <laughs> it was for my own life, you know. But... I'm sure, yeah. Oh, that is so cool. All right. I'm, I'm going to get this map to... This is beautiful up here. Let me take another one of those. But yeah, isn't this a great way to see a map? I love doing a wingsuit tour. Well, I see Onyx. I'm in a cave with Onyx. Oh, wow. How did you end up in a cave? Oh, did you go in the one that's said, on the castle? Caves. Oh well. Yes. Yes. Look at caves. Look for caves that we can go into later. You don't necessarily have to go into them now because I don't think we're quite high enough level. Uh, this, I wanted this to make sure it was a cave here. and not a hole in the wall. Yeah. Well, if there's Onik, it sounds like it's an actual cave. This castle ruin here, though, is so cool. Isn't it? Yeah, wouldn't that be a fun place to live? Like, you could probably even pop an ocean platform down and some of that water is so big. Oh, I think I missed that. Yeah, well, if you went more directly in the direction we are yeah. headed, yeah. Okay. So, yes, there is a cave in that. I mean, it wouldn't be surprising if there's more than one, really, but there's at least one cave in that. Uh, <laughs> That's castle. a great idea, Zant. Zant says that we should make Captain Fat Dog's sloom that <laughs> we could all oh, yeah. get air to go across the map that way. That would be fun. Actually... Yeah, I, th I thought this would be a fun thing to do though also because you guys can look around and kind of get a sense of where you might want to build when you build yourself a base. At least what general area you think looks the most interesting. On the other side of those chalk hills higher north, there is a redwood biome also, but I figured we probably didn't want to go through there with wingsuits. That's fine. It's okay. Yeah. And the snow biome is also really cool. It's got a lot of verticality, uh, really steep mountains and canyons and ice caves and all kinds of cool stuff up there too. Yeah. Uh, just a word of warning, though, be careful of some of these green areas down here. I did see some gigas earlier, so just FYI. That's a Rex down there. Bionicus. Mm -hmm. They are all over on this map. Yeah. They'd probably be really good for, like, climbing and running through maybe oh. some of the caves or something. Hmm. There's some really cool plateaus and stuff. This map was really built with builders in mind. There's a lot of flat spots and nice plateaus and stuff like that. Oops. Oops, what? Wow, what happened? Uh, grappling going wrong. Oh no. <laughs> I think you need some practice with that grapple. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you kill yourself with the grapple when we were doing the certain death challenge too? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's like 
I I released and tried to grapple to another spot. Oh, to hit. Yeah, that's always a risky endeavor. Ooh, I see another horse statue. Another ginormous one. Ooh, I think I see a cave. It's kind of cool how sometimes from far away when they're the area isn't fully rendered in yet. You can sort of see a cave entrance. Okay. The arena is closer to 15. Is it? Okay. Did you, are you there? No. I'm looking at the, because you, it, it's the, uh, there's a bed there. Ah, okay. Smart. Right, so I'm looking at my death map, yes. Another Let's swamp over at. here. kind of cool how there's these plateaus with an overhang. There's like these pieces of land that stick out in very improbable ways that somewhat defy gravity. But they look very cool and would be fun to build on. Oh, I see something cool. I see a glowy tree. What's this? Oh, this is cool. I found a spot that has... It's like a pedestal with one of those glowy blue trees from Aberration on it. Ah, and some Aberration plants and stuff around here too. Looks like some of them mushrooms. Hmm. I did not see this here before. Why is there... it looks like there's something here, but I don't know where it would be. Where are you located? Um, I will run out and shoot off a flare, but I am at. Oh, I'm at about. 60, 67, 45 ish. Oh, that's a good idea, Blaster. Um, Blaster's saying we should have a competition to pick who builds in which biome. Or maybe quadrant or area of the map. That would be fun. <laughs> and of course, Super Doom's saying we should build a boat in some of the water. Boats are kind of Super Doom's specialty. He has built a massive armada over on the Architects cluster. It is absolutely amazing. This looks like there should be something here, but I don't know how you get to it. Huh. There's like wood, which makes you think that it's covering over something, but... This is just a film. Huh. Maybe underneath this spot. Oh. This would be a fun spot to build in, though. You could have a pretty glowy tree in your backyard, and it doesn't look like there's anything bad spawning over here. I mean, it's all down in this swamp down below. Huh. Very interesting. 
landmass. Let's try not to back off the cliff. Wait a minute. What is wet hair doing? What? What? Some, some... Um, it's running away from me, but it doesn't have any horse? person on it. It's me. Oh, you must be having a visual glitch again. So was that you running past yeah, me, Zanzibar? Okay. No. Oh, oh, seriously. <laughs> I did the exact same thing you did, Gary. I was trying to grapple and then let go and then grapple to something else. And I did it successfully the first time. But then the second time, it was not so successful. Hmm. Where do I want to respawn? I'm almost to the wizard tower, actually, but I was having fun exploring. I think I may go back to the obelisk. There's a dead bassy. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried bed hopping with this death inventory keeper mod. Was running. Even if I die, I can spawn platform. Leave things. Hmm. I like that spot with the glowy tree. Oh, there's a phyla. But there's a lot of really cool spots here. Uh oh. Tama. Oops. What happened? <laughs> I was trying to grapple and I don't have a lot of experience with it. Yeah. So where do I respawn? It's really up to you since we're not competing or anything. I actually respawned back at the obelisk platform again just because I wanted to have another go at flying over the countryside and take a slightly different route. Um, but you can just respawn at the arena or the wizard tower or somewhere if you want to. Some really interesting rain down there. A lot of land bridges and waterfalls. I do like the chat picking which biome to be in. You're cutting in and out. What was that? Uh, I do like the option for chat to pick what biome to be in. Ah, yeah. Well, chat was actually saying that we should compete over it. We should have some kind of a competition. But we could also just do a random spin or something like that. That might be fun. Could be. Or let chat vote on it. Zanzibar, you have a bag here uh, next to the bed. I'm assuming you bed hopped. Yeah, okay, so bed hopping doesn't. Uh, you didn't keep all your stuff, or is it just like your implant or something? I did not keep my stuff. Ah, uh, okay, well, thank you for testing that out for us. <laughs> bed hopping does not. Dang it. <laughs> Can't use it as a cheap and dirty teleport, I guess. I know! Right. Death Recovery is awesome! Poor, poor man's uh, teleporter. Yeah. Fast yep. There might be Fjord Hawks on this map. You could do the same thing with Fjord Hawks, I think. Will Fjord Hawk bring oh, you your well, bag? Wild, wild card did it, thanks. I know, right? Although they nerfed it a little bit. Can't they only do that every 15 minutes or something? 
on official. I think it's once an hour or something on official, but private unofficial server owners can actually set it to whatever they want with or completely turn it off so that it's the way it was to start with. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. See, yet one more reason why we love unofficial. <laughs> that and I don't have 15 hours to tame a dino and three days to raise a baby. Right? Oh, that's a bad thing that's running my way. This is a really cool spot, though. I like this on the edge of this chalk hills biome here. here and have a look at the surrounding countryside. Whoa! I forgot that the leaf frog potion was still on. Okay, make sure I'm not running. I've rebound my sprint to be a toggle, so I don't always know since I don't have to hold it down. Okay. Whereabouts are we? All right. Ooh, we got a jungle here. I love how this map has a lot of interesting terrain. It's just got a lot more verticality than the island. In that way, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Ragnarok, but with more different biomes and stuff. Because me, I, I prefer to build on interesting terrain, not so much into the big flat spots. Not afraid of building on pillars. You're cutting in and out again. I'm, I'm, I am leaning back in my chair, <laughs> relaxing <laughs> away from my mic. Uh, uh, what, what biomes are in this? Well, so far, I've, there's redwoods, there's snow, there's the chalk hills, there's the desert. There's that, I don't know what it's called, that Green Hills Megalania Paradise area. There's a couple of different swamps. Um, there's kind of like red deserty hills in a particular area. I don't know if all of those are necessarily official biomes. Oh, Gary, what'd you do now? That's the wrong button. Oh, death by wrong button. Classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I found another one of those obelisk things, but this one looks a little different. It doesn't look like... It's got some kind of a platform underneath it, but I don't see the, the ter boss terminal. Huh. Ooh, and there's a glowy stump over here. It looks like Shrek's house. It's got your name all over it, Zanzibar. Um, what was that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go die and spawn back up the platform. Okay. This is a really gorgeous spot. I think this is pretty much just the other side of... Um, just, just the other side of the ridge of hills from the wizard tower. Oh, and I think I just found a cave. Or something. There, there is a cave pretty close to where our base is. Yeah, this is on the other the side other here. Yeah. This might just be like a metal spawn or something, but... Oh, no, that's... That was cave lag. I'm not gonna go in until I get killed by something, but that, that, that was definitely cave lag, so this is definitely a cave. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of bats. 
Oh, you found a cave too? Outside? No, it's outside. Oh. It's it's close to the four horses, so. Huh. Uh, I thought it was like a fire at first, and then I like that's a bunch of wings. Huh. Flying around. Thick, thick. What? Zanzibar! <laughs> oh no, now Zanzibar died. Everybody's dying. I think he did that. I on think purpose. that was intentional. Go back to the yeah, platform. that's what I figured. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Isn't that what you were just talking about? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. <sighs> Possibly. Super Doom's saying that there's a way to flap the glider wings to gain altitude. I did not know that that was a thing. Huh. And Zant is saying you shouldn't be able to flap them, and Super Doom says it's a super secret way that you shouldn't be able to that shouldn't work perfect we love exploits over here so tell us all about this wonderful <laughs> exploit <laughs> gotta what? find an updraft he says i can get the glider to fly up almost vertically but yeah you definitely should make a video for that Uh, they need a uh, altitude uh, on the spyglass. That would be cool, yeah. Look at the awesome spyglass show your altitude. Oh, so you look up and rapidly toggle the air brakes, which is X, I believe. So let's see if we can do that. I don't know how you tell without an. Yeah, I think altitude. you have to already be in the air or something because. Doesn't work well, I, I mean, because I was just trying that. Because, but yeah. I mean, it's like if you're looking up at the clouds, how are you going to know unless you get close to the mesh or something? So you don't have a point of reference when you're looking up. Yeah. Oh, something's after me. <laughs> Grapples to the rescue as long as we manage to not die again to grappling. Definitely found where the RGs are. Oh, and a Carno and lots of scorpions. Oh, that's a windmill. What? I did not mean to get out the camera. Actually, I meant to get out my grapple. How far can this thing go? Uh, not that far. Okay. Well, that's pretty far. Oh wow! Uh, glide, glide right into the cave. You glide. Oh, well, there's into a the... lot of crystal in here. Oh, nice. Eh, it's not a cave, cave. It's like a passage. Nice. Okay, so after oh, you, this castle. You have to be in the air, and have some air speed, and then it apparently works. Hmm. Well, once I get to a high enough spot. To be able to fly some more, I will have to give that a whirl. <sighs> we should try to find a good griffin for RG to tame. Well, griffin would be better. Or a pteranodon.
Make sure I'm not running so I don't nosedive. Okay, run to the edge. All right, get some speed. And then look up and have the air brakes is X and it's not doing anything for me. Yeah, me neither. Maybe huh. it's because it's through usables. Yeah, I suppose that's possible. Yeah, these are not vanilla gliders. That's true. Because I don't see the air brakes seem to do anything. Well, they, I don't think they usually do when you're on a glider. They're Mostly they work as air brakes when you're on a flyer. Where am I? Oh wow, I went I went a little far west. shift on PC? Oh, well, I've rebound a bunch of things, so my shift doesn't do the same thing. Um, and by default, even, I think a left and right shift do different things. So make sure that make sure to uh, double check exactly which key that is. Oh, okay. So Super Doom's saying that you look down with shift and you dive, look up, and it's brakes. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can kind of swoop up. Uh, uh, let's level up, though. I was starting to dive a little too much. Oh, yeah, you can... It kind of gains some altitude that way. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the arena. Oh, I... Whew. I dived a little too long. Uh-oh. Where is there a Spino? Yeah. Where I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> that helps. Uh, I'm running along the coast. Okay. Uh, I west. just made it to the arena. Whew. And I actually added a feature this time that will make it possible for me to do arena matches with y'all, too. It was a suggestion from... Somebody in the comments last time uh, should have written his name down. I do not remember who, um, what the screen name was now. But anyway, he was suggesting that I should build a cage with a hatch so that I could spawn critters into it and then be able to move away and activate it so that not only would I not have to just stand there and spawn stuff for people, but I could even spawn things into there and then and then I could even fight an arena match. So now we have a pin coded cage on the opposite side of the arena. Nice. So yeah, if anybody wants to do any arena matches, which I for one really want to add a building mod to this map. So I'm willing to fight for a building mod. I'm just still kind of having trouble deciding. I really do like CKFR, but I think I'm going to stick with Architect Structures in part because I joined the Discord of the modder and he's got some really cool updates coming down the pipe pretty soon. I am very excited about those. And, well, I can't jump here because I'm jumping too high. Okay. Let's fill up my water jar. I did also finish filling up all the boxes in here with gear and all of the twist boxes with twists. 
so well we found some caves so i think we can definitely say that we can raise the level cap next time in fact i think we how many caves entrances have we found we found at least two or three i think should we still just, should we raise the level cap by just um, 10 or should we do 10 for each of the caves we found here? Found one of Gary's corpses. Ah, nice. <laughs> just 10 should be. Yeah, just 10 I'm per week. With just 10. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of cool how it forces us to slow down a bit. Here, I'm going to go back over to the ranch and see if any of those horses are still there. I was just over there. There was three or four in the pen and everything loose seemed to have disappeared. Uh, yeah, I figured that might happen because by default, if you move a creature far away from where it spawned, it will eventually despawn. That's why, like, if you pick up a critter with an RG and carry it halfway across the map and then drop it into a trap. If you leave render, it, it t tends to disappear. Whereas if you build a trap close to where you found it and put it in there, it's more likely to still be there. So I think it, the same might apply to critters that were spawned in by an admin. Because the game would not think they are close to where they spawned. Because they are not listed in the spawn container, at least not in those kind of numbers. Hmm. I see one in here. I might give it a try. While I'm waiting for y'all. And oh, thank you, Demonic Crunk. I'm, I assume you're talking about the arena there. Yeah, that um, the structure itself of the arena is actually a prefab. It's called WKD Arenas. It's a tiny little mod. It doesn't even have very many reviews on it. Um, it's fairly new, but I really like it because it's not super big like a lot of arena mods. And it doesn't include a lot of things I don't necessarily need. Because a lot of the other arena mods that I found are part of much bigger mods. Well, hello there. You are very pretty. Hmm. I don't have Gilly on. Well, actually, I do have Gilly on. That's right, because I broke my desert cloth. So let's see if we can do this. Ooh. Yeah, and it's like three E's in quick succession. E to feed, E to jump on, and then E to feed again. Yeah. I, I found some more of the escapees out here, so. Yeah. There's a yeah, really oh, pretty kind of gold one. Yeah. I think they've yeah, been kind of just nice spreading. Oh, nice. I was looking for that green one that was over by where the race started, but I couldn't find that one. Ooh, there's like a black and yellow one here that's kind of cool. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to build an arena, Demonic, but... Oh my gosh, it would have taken a long time to get one big enough, and it also would have been a ton of structures and added a lot to lag, whereas that whole arena, including even the viewing room, though of course we added the furniture and stuff and all the boxes, but the room itself and all of that is part of the mod. Yeah, I think, I think there's at least three or four still in here. You're a little more subtly colored. Must be one of the randomized ones that I did when I didn't choose all the colors by hand. I just hit the dice button a few times. Yeah, I was looking for greens and blues and reds, but not really seeing much in those colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should probably add simple spawners to this map. And then I could put a spawner for them in here. That'd be kind of fun. 
Just make them spawn in here. There's somebody on a tiny horse. Oh, you're not actually black. You're like midnight blue yeah, and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> a little hobbit on a little pony, huh? This one maybe should be named Filigree because it looks like gold filigree over midnight blue. It's not the colors I normally choose, but it's really striking. There's a lot of good contrast. I like that. Huh. I wonder if it's something to do with the fact that these horses are from the mod because, uh, you know, from the modded map, because I noticed you, you guys are right. I did not see the the prompt on the lower right of the screen that's normally there. It was just the behavior. I wasn't really paying attention to that before because I'm just in the habit of mostly watching the behavior and just kind of keeping half an eye on the lower right of the screen. But, huh. You are a very, very pretty boy. Look at you. Wow. What should we name you, huh? You need some kind of a dignified name. I don't feel like I should name you Filigree, though, because poor Filigree died and Nick Filigree was Zanzibar's. <laughs> so that name has been taken. Hmm. Maybe something like royal or something. Pinsley? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good idea. I like that. Zant says we could name him Thor. Let's do that. Kind of does look like lightning all over him. Oh, by the way, my life is complete. The other day on Captain Fat Dog's stream, he tamed a purple dimorph and he named it after me. So, nice. yes, nice. I, I can die happy now. <laughs> I am one of his patrons, though, so I think that's why. He is very cool, though. All right. Let's head back to the arena. All right, we're back. Some trees. Whoa. What? <laughs> I almost went off a cliff. Oh, yeah, don't do that. With my the horse. It's like, whoa, whoa, put on the brakes. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny in movies and stuff when they have people like accidentally run off a cliff or something. I'm always like, oh, that's so unrealistic. You could totally see that that's there. Sometimes maybe not if you're running fast. <laughs> so anyway, um, all of the desert stone looking stuff, that's part of the mod crunk. And uh, but I added all of the structures around the opening here because in in the, the mod itself, there's just kind of in just the opening um, here, but I didn't want to ha risk random wild creatures running in and disrupting things. So I built the structure around the opening and the Kai's Apothecary actually has a one single placeable tree as a decoration. So we've got a couple of those trees here too. And then also this archway that's part of the tree shrine. Thought that was cool as part of the entrance. And then, um, so yeah, the walls, all the all of the decor we placed, except for these plants here, these are actually part of the mod. We, I added the goblin, but the plants are part of it. I added this gateway here as well, just to keep spawned in critters out here. 
from ending up inside. And the arena itself does not have a bottom to it. It doesn't have a floor. So you can set up different types of arenas depending on where you place it. You can't put it completely on the water. What I noticed is uh, it's tricky to place because it's friggin' huge. So you can't see it very well when you're trying to place it. But if you're standing in water, then it won't let you place it because it thinks that it's you're trying to place it in the water. But as long as you're standing on land, then it will place around you. And there you can see the viewing room up there. And it's made to work on a variety of, di of different terrains. It doesn't have to be totally level. So you can see there's like this built-in ramp going up to the doorway there. It's got details like that. And the walls are made so that they extend downward into the mesh quite a good ways as well. So yeah, and then I added all the jump pads because any good arena should have jump pads. We all learned that from the Survive the Ark uh, mission on Gen 2, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes being able to run to a jump pad and get away can make it a little easier to survive when you are fighting a lot of bad things. Andy, level four. Oh yes, Andy popped on and helped me with setting up the inside here. Then she's not been able to make it back on since then, sadly. She ho she was hoping to be able to make it on for some of the episodes, but she did not so far get a, um, so far has not been able to do that, but she placed all this carpet in here and the boxes and the spin wheels and all of that. So, and the chairs are nice little viewing, viewing area where people can watch people getting munched, enjoy the show. Yep. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Where did you, uh, did you breed the Maywings? So this is from last time. Notice the once care in seven hours and 52 oh, minutes. Oh jeez, yeah. I did change that. I thought that it would have updated. Huh. Well, you could, as long as you set up the nanny, have enough food, it would probably be okay. Yeah, it's maturing fast. It's just not going to let you uh, imprint it. Well, uh, the nanny will imprint it. The nanny will do it, yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right, then. Anybody else want to do an arena match before I do? Oh, I'll let you go first. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you want to let me go first, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, then fine. Let me dump my stuff in one of these boxes down here. Because that is the rule. Oh, th except this box doesn't have enough space. Let me go put it in one of the bigger boxes outside. There we go. So for those who've not caught an arena match before, the rule is that you have to leave behind all your own gear and then We'll show you how it works. So I left all my stuff. Oh, except why does why is my hair not grown? What is that? Does it think that it's hiding my hat that I'm not wearing or something? Uh, no, I guess my hair just hasn't grown. Well, that's gonna bug me just a second. Cheat set head hair first. Then it, I think it is. I mean, one, is that correct? Yep, there we go. Now I've got hair. All right, bad enough being naked. I, I draw the line at also being bald. Okay. So basically, depending on what you are fighting for, which in this case, I'm fighting for a mod, which counts as large size. So for a large size mod, supposed to do a tier three challenge so I got I get to spin this to find out what I'm going to be fighting and then I get to spin this to find out how many lives I get how many chances I get so let's see come on ah. 
A stego. I like stegos though. Dang it. <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. And it might not sound like too bad of a challenge to fight a stego, but I can only bring in with me the gear that's in the box that I choose at random. So, okay, I've got two lives. And I put the gear in these boxes, but I do not have a good enough memory to remember <laughs> what is in any particular box at all. Um, let's do this one. Okay. So I get, oh, I got a chibi. Yay for me. Because you need a chibi when you're going to fight bad guys. All right, so I've got some random armor here. At least I've, these look like they must be flak or something. Pants. Decent top and hat. Oh, and the boots have a wing suit thingy on them. Nice. No gloves. And then I got one wigan tree potion, which is about to spoil, so I better just go ahead and eat that. Then I've got health potions. I've got a reusable grapple, reusable boomerang. I appear to have a shotgun without any ammo. That's not quite fair. I wonder who who put that box together. Jeez, somebody just does not know what they're doing around here. You should fire the admins. Nah. All right. Well. Hmm. If I want to risk. If it seems like it's either too easy or if it seems like it's impossible, then you can basically gamble by also choosing a twist. And a twist could be good or it could be bad. It could give you additional weapons or ammo, or it could have a note in it that says that you get additional enemies added to the arena. But I don't think I want to risk that at the moment because I think I, think I can manage this. Although, it might be more fun. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'll do this. Fine, you talk me into it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's a pretty good one. Honestly, that one feels like it's too good for this. Get some element to be able to get critters out of the gamble chest. Nah. I want to make it too easy. I'll just leave that. Okay. I got sparkly pants on. Very sparkly pants. All right. Uh, let's take these off so that I can spawn in the critters. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's spawn in our critter in here. Nice underpants. Thank you. Well, I'm talking about hands Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Okay. And oh no, you're not going to be on passive fleet. You're going to be on aggressive. You are not going to be tamed. Okay. Oh, I guess that's all fine as long as you're wild and on aggressive. Now let's see how this works. At least it's not too terribly fast. You still have... There, out of creative mode. Okay. Yeah, I just can't see quite as well sitting down. You don't have to sit down, that's okay. Oh, can you shake the fairy in a jar? <laughs> that would be oh, kind of cool, but I don't you think you can. You can pick it up, but you can't. You can't shake it. Oh. 
feel chipped. Well, it's not being very aggressive, that's for sure. What is your problem? You just gonna sit there? You're not being any fun at all. It's just standing punch there. Punch it. Don't be aggressive when you punch it. Well, I shot it with fire <laughs> arrows and it wasn't aggressive. Really? Yes. I wonder if it's because... Uh, it lit up. Is it stuck? I suppose that's possible. It doesn't look stuck. No, it doesn't. It just looks like it's on passive or something, but I made sure it was on aggressive. Huh. Well, I wonder if it's because of the fact that I spawned it in or something. No, I never turned that on to begin with. And I've definitely had wild things aggro on me. That would be crazy if that's still working after all this time, though. Well, maybe somebody else should come help me fight it then, and <laughs> maybe it'll well, aggro on I, you. I'm, I'm on my way. Okay. Let's see, test your theory. If... No, it's like glitched or something. It, it's It's totally... Okay, um, Zanzibar, would you mind looking up the spawn code and just spawning one in using traditional methods? <laughs> Let's see, put one right in its eye. Well, you're not being any fun over there. I mean, it's groaning. What? That's about it. You stuck? You know what? I... Maybe if I pick up these foundations here. Whoa! <laughs> the jump pad got me. You'd think it, it would at least be swinging its tail at you, though, even if it was stuck. You'd think, yeah. It seems more like it's passive. Yeah, but the people in the people in chat can uh, definitely back me up that I made sure it was on aggressive. But yeah, it's definitely glitched. Doesn't seem like it's taking any damage either. Somebody have their spyglass on? Can check that. We have a spyglass. Uh, do we have awesome spyglass? Okay, well, this one's moving, at no. least. There you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that one's moving. Okay, yeah, that one's Well, that mad. one got pissed. Yeah, okay, that one's uh, mad. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, uh, yeah, that didn't work quite the well the way it was supposed to. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh, I'm still... Um, it would help if, if I was able to use a grapple properly. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> it's okay, you get two lives. <laughs> what? This isn't one life to live? Well, all of the tier three things are... Um, you roll for how many lives oh, you get. Oh, shit! It's after me. <laughs> well, you're yeah. available, I guess. I guess. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that was the gamble Listen. chest. Ah, okay. I guess we're going well, to have to spawn in another one of those. Gamble. I guess so. I'm doing my measly 47 damage. Oh, I do have health potions. Here, let me go down to the... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. I went down to the ground too fast. <laughs> oh. One more life. One more life, yes. There you go. I just parked myself on top. 
top of the viewing booth. Can't get me here. <laughs> <laughs> you get up there with the can't... grapple or with? Well, no. Um, I just did the jump pad and then uh, oh. I got the wingsuit on. So Nice. Uh, and I can shoot it from up here. Nice. <laughs> Finding all the exploits I see. Of course. Oh, here, let me... I got these oil jars. I've never actually used these things before. Let's try them out. It wants to run hey. away now. It doesn't help if you're running away. Uh. Oh, it's uh, it's aggroed on me. Should hope so. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> wow! Oh my, it's followed you on the jump pad. How in the world? <laughs> Wow. Well, that's a smart Stego. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Oh my Flying gosh. Stego. Oh my goodness. Uh, 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 no, stop it. I'm trying to put that away so that I can... Okay, where'd it go? Like, it's okay. still in the water down there. Is it running? Oh, I see it. I'm not sure if it can get me from here. Oh, we've got yeah. somebody. Well, I, I shot it. Okay. It's trying to get to me. I don't think it can reach me. Oh, nice. Oh, I, oh that was a headshot. That's why I got some nice. damage. Oh, no. Some, somebody else must have got the 79 damage. Uh, I'm so. shooting at it from over here. It's going for another jump pad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No flying stegos. Whoa! Well, there it goes. <laughs> flaming stegos of death. <laughs> I have to call this oh, one comic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, if only they took fall damage. Yeah, only if, only if you're on them. Yeah, and actually, uh, jump pads cancel out fall damage. Any if you're thrown by a jump pad, doesn't matter how far you fall, you won't take fall damage. Two point five. Oof! You got really close to me. Oh, I do not have very many arrows left. What level is this thing? 200? Yeah, I think. Or I don't know. This is, well, yeah, so Zanzibar spawned this one. No, walk up to it and look. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. After you, Sama. Get impaled. No, this is when I wish I had awesome spyglass. I could actually tell. Right. That's one. What, what the health was. Come back here. I want to try out these oil jars and you keep, you won't cooperate by running over the oil. There you go. Come on now. It's level 200. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, there he goes. Flying Stego. I believe I can fly. Oh, shoot. Now. Uh, yeah. How did I just fall down? I don't know how I did that, but anyway. I believe I can touch the sky. I better shut up or I'm gonna get dinged by YouTube. I keep hitting my own oil patches and getting slowed down. Stego's it's gonna land on my jump. head, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I think 
think the Stego's hitting more of the jump pads than I am. Oh, and now I'm out of arrows. I get to use the boomerang, I guess. Oh, I, shot. oh, geez, I just hit the... Uh, that was not good. I hit the overhang up above when I hit the jump pad. I'm going to have to adjust that jump pad. Oh, boy. I am not very good with a boomerang. It's kind of difficult when your target's moving. It's best if you can trap your yeah. target. Oh, run, run. Run, run as fast as you can. <laughs> Wait, I'm in the water. Why am I dehydrated? <laughs> water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. <laughs> oh, it's after me. Okay. I'm swimming over. Oh, I just barely avoided that tail. My crossbow's almost broken, too. <laughs> I think if we manage to knock it out, we get to tame it. <laughs> uh, I am not good with a boomerang. <laughs> I got to land right on it. Is that health? Yep. Yeah, well, mine. You nine... got a spyglass or a magnifying glass or something? I got the telescope. Telescope? I didn't know it was a telescope. Well, he didn't. I, he didn't give up all his yeah, own I gear. Well, I went back I... and grabbed it. What's its torpor at? Four. Four? <laughs> Tw yeah, 24. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna knock it out. Got 119. Oh! <laughs> one, one look at all those arrows sticking out of it. Oh, it's after me. More damage. Done. Oh, <laughs> Gary got the kill shot. Awesome. And we need some hide. Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. Woo! Some rough that was kind meat. of a crazy battle. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to go throw this. I think we should set up a box probably for used gear so that I can like sort it out and put ammo back with it before putting it back in boxes so we don't end up with things like, I don't know, shotguns without ammo being in boxes. No, it's fine. It's okay. fine. Ah. Mr. Passive here. Okay, let's get a box. Box, box, box. Just one of these. Uh, actually, maybe one of these. I will yeah, let's the use the bin. This one? Oh, this one? Okay, there's an empty bin that will be on the end here for putting. <gasps> oh my! What uh, the? Uh, what happened? I think we need to do a the server restart. The arena just got blown up. Yep. Uh, did somebody use the red gun? Nope. I used cheat kill on the stego. I went straight through the stego. Oh, wow. 
Well, and it um, killed like the arena. Well, yeah. <laughs> it almost killed me. Oof. Okay, um, we are gonna need to do a quick server re roll back here. <laughs> wow. Oh my um, goodness. Yeah. So, yeah. That is a thing that can happen. That is one of the problems with using a prefab. I actually had that happen once or twice when I was setting all of this up, believe it or not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but we'll, we'll stay on this screen for now and let me just go real quick to G Portal here. <laughs> because, yeah, I do not really want to have to rebuild all of the decor that was in there and have to sort out all those boxes again. No, it's, it's not your fault. It's okay. I, I did not think that that would affect... Yeah, I would not, not sure. either. No. Oh, and now the teleporter's not not powered, so you can't teleport. Yeah, because the <laughs> the, the, the uh, tech generator was in there. But you're just just get just get off the map because we're gonna need to do a rollback. Okay. Uh... So, uh, yeah. I couldn't even tame this thing out. I did like cheat do tame. Nothing. He <laughs> can't. All right. Can't do anything. Wow. Well, what a nice end to your stream. Blow up the whole arena. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you're probably going to be booted out very quickly, uh, guys, because I did not set up a message to warn before that because of all of the changes that I'm making on this map all the time. I don't necessarily have time to I wait. I left. I need to yeah. call it a night anyway. So. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Gary. It's been fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a controller freak. Yeah, that's my face too. <laughs> he just posted the emoji with just the big eyes. Like, yeah. Yeah, that was my face too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was all of us. Yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, the entire stadium. Yeah. <laughs> I was running out to get some food for my baby waving, and I was almost out the door, and poof, the building disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, it should be coming back up soon-ish. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> well, let's see. I guess while we're wa waiting, I can mess around with some of these wacky voice changer thingies. Uh, the list that I sent you in Discord earlier was just a list called Bio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does Zams get a reward for killing the arena? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of strange. You sound perfectly normal. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sure I always sound like this. That's more accurate. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's that's more accurate. Okay, that's now. <laughs> yep. This one's definitely more like me. <laughs> oh jeez. 
I, I, uh, Zamp, I think that was supposed to be the dripping sounds in the background, but I can definitely hear why you might think that it sounded like sizzling. Yeah, Zant said that this sounds like bacon grease frying in a cave. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. yeah, yeah, the background effects are a little loud, though. Let me turn them down a bit. There we go. That's better. This one's kind of cool, though. Octaves! Do a deer, a female deer. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they have one called Bob. Of course I need to try that. Oh, oh wow, that's weird. Uh, oh. I, I thought that was Zan for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, though this this is the Bob filter. So yeah, apparently this is what Bob sounds like. It's so crazy that they can do these kinds of filters in real time. And this one is called the Demon. <laughs> Okay, that's sad. It took me a second to recognize the tune. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here listening to it because, of course, I'm on the, um, the session list screen. Zant <laughs> uh, said that one of those ones, I don't know which one you're referring to, sounded like the predator. <laughs> yeah. I think the cathedral one definitely is a... a the least weird, I guess. Um, this one is called Radio Demon. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. It comes with background music. Okay, then.
I can just make my voice super deep. <laughs> a little bit. I should try this one and then, like, singing along with Jeff Castellucci sometime. This one's called Dark Angel. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that one was called Living Dead, and it sounded very squishy. It was not very nice. Okay. I think I like being drilled the best. Probably. Yeah. <clears throat> See if I can find the note to sing along with the arc theme music as we sit here and wait. The Eco's Witch Mod? Anka. Eco's Empire's Anka. Oh, okay, cool. That would be pretty neat. Most of the Empire mods that I've seen had, um, like, they, they had skins for existing creatures. So I. It's, it's probably a skin for. for... Yeah. That would make sense. It just looks really funny. Yeah. Yeah, I I used the Mattis one when we were on uh, Titan. And with that one, there was a skin for a saber tooth that made it look like a jaguar. That was pretty cool. And there was also one for the Mesopithecus that made it look like this, like, uh, capuchin monkey or something. Some kind of monkey that has, like, a big mustache and stuff. It was pretty cute. Oh, come on, are you gonna come back up, server? Please, pretty please. With sugar on top. It should it's back up. Me. Is it? Well, I it's not showing up in my list. Did you refresh? Oh, there, now it finally is. Yes, it just showed up. I've been sitting here refreshing. Finally decided to show up. It'll okay, is, is somebody back minutes. on then? Are you back on, Sama? No, I'm loading four of 19 mods. Okay. <laughs> you like alpacas, Zant? Yeah, apparently in the Eco Empire's Inca, there is an alpaca either as a standalone creature or probably it's a skin for an existing creature. I wonder what it was. it's a skin for, though. It might be an Equus... But it could be something else. Huh. Alpacas are really cute, though. I, I know some people that have a little bit of an alpaca farm. More of a hobby farm than anything else, but they're very cute anyway. They're like mini teddy bear llamas. Do, 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 do. 
So what should we do for our challenge next week? I was thinking of a building challenge, uh, but we should also do something else, like something with flyers, maybe, or with caves. Any ideas? I like the caves challenge. Mm-hmm. Maybe, like act maybe act tame a couple. Maybe tame a couple flyers and then go visit a cave. Yeah. Well, we should probably tame something else to actually take in the cave. I what? Can't... You don't want to take a pteranodon you can't find into a cave? I don't know yeah, that... Oh, 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 it didn't work. I'm going to have to roll it back farther. Dang it. Okay. Well, either that or it's just not loaded in yet. No, I think... I think it would have been loaded in by now. Yeah. Well, we've been talking about having another stream during, uh, during the week next week anyway, because I do not have my nieces with me for next week. And so I'm going to have a little bit more flexibility in my schedule. So let's plan on doing the rest of the arena matches next time then. I don't want to ask the remaining people in chat to sit around while I try to do this again. That does not seem quite fair. So anyway, I will try again, but I think we should probably end the stream here. So I... It will... is 9 o'clock. Yep, yep, it is 9 o'clock, which is when we're kind of supposed to end the stream anyway. But I, does anybody have an idea of what day next week works for you? Like Purple said he's available every day except Wednesday. Um, excuse me, Turtle. I'm like trying to stand here. It's very rude. Anyway, um, I have a lot of flexibility in the afternoons next week, mostly. Uh, you have Monday and Tuesday off, right? Zanzibar, you might be able to. Is there any chance you might be able to do something on, like, Tuesday or something? Yeah. Yeah, I usually end up uh, doing some stuff with friends on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, but depending on what's going on, I can try skipping or leaving early or something like that. Okay. Otherwise, um, I'd probably be getting home around 10 Eastern, Wednesday through Friday. Yeah. I can always come in late. But... Yeah. I think we can probably make it work at some time, either Monday or Tuesday. We'll talk about it, and I'll post the time on the Discord. Thank you so much, those that have stuck around with us through all of this craziness. We really appreciate you very much. And I hope you had as much fun as we did, and we will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>